What's up, world? I'd like to welcome y'all to a Drug Dealer's Dreams yeah. podcast, yo. Shit is real. We got real guests. Yup. Informative. Yo, my name G. I'm Benny Blanco. You know, for those of you who lived it, can relate to it, seen it, heard it, felt it, been through it, it's for you. Yo, we gonna have real convo, real guests, real just back and forth with me and my guy, man. Sit back, enjoy the ride, man. Drug Dealer's Dreams. Word. If you tuning in for gossip, tune out. On that. Yo, another episode of Drug Dealer's Dream Podcast, man. I'm G. Benny. Welcome to the show, bro. Welcome to the show, man. We got a, uh, we get a proper introduction, man. Dream Chase is on, Philly's on. Um, fam, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, special man. guest, my man, Top. AKA yeah. Top 215, right. man. Right. Barcelini. Barcelini. Right. Appreciate right. you coming through, man. You already. What's, What's up? What's good? Ain't shit, man. We just going to head, sit here and chop it up, man. Real talk. We got a lot going on. A lot yeah. you going through. A lot your team going through. Uh, sure. And a lot of people see you all the time, whether most of the time with Dream Chasers with me mm-hmm. and... um. A lot of people wonder, you always, when you see Meek, you see you. See right. Meek, you see O'Malley, right. right? So a lot of time people wonder who is these dudes in the background. Everybody think, oh, I know they got a story to tell. You know what I'm saying? Niggas yeah. ain't just hangers on. I, I know you. You know what I'm saying? So uh, let's get into it, man. Who is Talk, man? You know what I'm saying? Uh, grew up in Philly, born and raised. What yeah, side born, of Philly? Born and raised South Philly, man. Okay. You know, uh, Right there, 21st Seagull Street. You know, okay. Uh, you know, me and Meek is uh, cousins. You know Re- I mean? Hold up, real cousins. Some niggas be like, oh, that's yeah, my nah, cousin. Nah. Uh, how was y'all cousins, bro? My, my mom and his mom's sisters, you know what I'm saying? Real cousins. So, you know, what's like, cousins like, like that. What's like, like, like growing up, paint the picture for them? Uh, life in Philly is, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's pretty much like any other hood, man. You know, it just it just go down. You know what I'm saying? So we grew up in South Philly. Uh, Meek from North Philly. I grew up in his dad from South Philly. You know what I'm saying? Our mom's from North. Uh, my dad from South Philly. His dad from South Philly. So, uh, you know, he grew up in North. I grew up in South Philly. It, two of the worst parts of the city, if you ask me. And, uh, you know, it, it just was real, like any other neighborhood. Got it. You know what I'm saying? Now, when you was growing up, was you working? Was it strictly hustle? What, what, oh, what you had going on, man? When I was growing up, I had a couple of jobs. I used to work with my pop. My pop, oh my God. My pop used to run me in a hole of working from... That's a good pop, though. So. I probably was... I hate working <laughs> yeah. now yeah. because I had to work so much when I was younger. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. It's like every day, every nice day I was getting out of school, you think you about to come home and run with your homies. Like, no, my pop right there, like, yeah, come on. We got some work to do, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, I want to say from like, from prime when I was like 12 to I was old enough to tell my pop I wasn't going to probably like 17, Mm. like, you know what I'm saying? That's dope. 12 to 17, I would would be working with my pop, you know what I'm saying? But when I wasn't working, you know, with my homies, you know, we was doing us. But you had your pops in your life, though. Yeah, for sure, for sure. My pop definitely was in my life. Him and my mom wasn't together, but he was around, like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, Yeah, think about that if kinda, he, if that kind of postponed a lot of things. I was just about to say that. <laughs> think about if he ain't f- pressed right, you to yeah, work. Right, yeah, so high day. school, I mean, it was crazy. I say postponed. When I say postponed, it, like, push things back to, like, 16 and yeah, 17. Yeah, yeah, instead of you being 13 instead while of being 13 you... 13 and 14. You, yeah, nah, you know what nah, I'm nah, saying? Because right. it go down like that in the hood. So nah, it's like, because what people don't be understanding is you can have both your parents and all that. Right. Sometimes you make that decision. You right. know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 it ain't nothing they could do. For real. They, they could, they could real. mold you as much as they want. Because right. we see it all the time in the hood. Man, yeah. you got both parents. Yeah. People living good. Yeah. He ain't had to hustle. Right. Yeah, sometimes you don't. So Sometimes you don't want to feel like keep asking your parents. Right. I'm 17, 18. I'm right. I'm a man. I be feeling yeah. like you know what I'm saying. So, so you definitely know. something we learned from having yeah, the right. show too. Like people, everybody got their own reason. You know For what I'm real. Saying? So yeah. So they was uh, like I said, you know, they were separated, but 
he would still come through, like, you know what I mean? So it's like, that that postponed me wilding to probably like high school, 10th, 10th, 11th grade. And I wouldn't even say wilding, I just was infatuated with money. Yeah. I ain't never that, really want to, uh, be on bullshit. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Just like, killing was, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I respected the killers, but like, yeah. I just wanted to be on some ball stuff shit and right. get some paper, like, Word. You know what I'm saying? So, and I heard a couple stories about you, man. Yeah, nah, What's up, man? Nah, so I always, I always like align myself with the hustle. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, like, shit. you know what I'm saying? And niggas getting money, like, you know what I'm saying? So, can you remember I, um somebody you used to look up to around your way? I, I ain't even gonna lie. The first, the first person I used to see day to day, get money, uh, you know, outside like. My family was just like when I was younger, or older nigga, it was niggas from my corner. Or all right, so you know, my pop corner, my pop from down uh Cross Broad, like Seventh Street area. You know what I'm saying? And, and that, that's a neighborhood known for just getting money. So when I would be down there with you know my family down there, I would see a couple older niggas down there. Like every a bunch of them niggas was getting money. Yeah. They all had their Benzes, five hundreds and shit like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but I would interact with the niggas on my side where I lived at more because I'm coming around the corner. So the first nigga I seen that was that I thought was fly getting money was Bean's brother, News. News. That was his younger brother, right? Yeah. yeah I yeah. heard he was getting yeah, money yeah. out there. Yeah, for sure. So, so that's Seagull saying? Street. That's the same. Seagull <laughs> Street. Yeah, okay. that's Seagull well, Street that's where street. I grew up at. Like, you you know feel like they made, he made that street legendary? Like y'all was proud when he started yelling that shit? I, who, Beans? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course, definitely, right. definitely put the block on. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He put on. You can't, you can't deny that. You know what I'm right. saying? But his brother was the one, like as far as hustling wise. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He like, close to, he close to your age, or he oh, even no, older than no, you? No, no, he's he's still older than me. Okay. He was an older guy. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? If, I, if I'm 13, they probably they probably 19. Okay. If I'm 13, they probably 20. Oh, okay. like right. something like that. Right. Cause they yeah they well they 40s now, so they probably 20 something. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. You know what I'm saying? I just used to be, you know, he was fly to me. He had the paint, he had the, he had the fucking gold infinity with the, uh, with the fucking paint tint. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was the first nigga I seen with Coogee shorts. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit. So, yeah, yeah, so like, he was a they fly. They remember shit nigga. like that. No, yeah. yeah, for sure. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then, like, at the same time, I used to look at the guys from across Broad, like, you know, like, the Lennies and the Feeks and, Things like that, like my older cousin Lee and my, you know what I'm saying, my uh, my, my cousin Don, you know, he from Southwest, you know what I'm saying, they always getting money too, and I used to, you know what I'm saying, like I said, I, I had a, a, a bunch of guys that I looked up to, because I just always aligned myself with hustle, you know what I'm saying, word. it was a bunch, you know what I'm saying, but, for real. So like you said, like how you said you was infatuated, right, and we yeah. always touch on this with guests because that era was so powerful, you know what I mean? That infatuation with right. the fast money, the women, like you said, you uh -huh. for you to sit here and remember Coogee shorts, like we all right. we all remember certain right. things, you know what I'm saying? Right. But like, can you can you get deeper into that? Like what like what drove you? Like did you think about like let me get my first pack so I could get this? No, nah, like, see, I'm gonna tell you what happened. When, when, I just wanted to get money. I just wanted to dance. Like okay. you know what I'm saying? Right. That right. was right. my shit. So that was my motivation. And music had a lot to do with it too. It was, it was like I used to listen to like I've been a fan of music for so long. Like I used to really uh, critique music. Like at a young age, I remember being in the eighth grade, and I'm listening to uh, I'm sorry, not the eighth. I'm in the seventh grade. I'm listening to a Reasonable Doubt in my crib. I'm listening to it in the tape. I went to Catholic school. I got the tie on. It's wow. me and my man Keith, you know what I'm saying? We in the crib and I'm listening to um um damn, what I'm listening to? The street school that's a spend our money foolish. The devil. So the evil. The evil. That's yeah, the evil, right? Nah, nah, that's not the evil. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Um, Motherfucking, can I live? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. 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 Can I Don't live? Don't disrespect. Yeah. It was this whole. Recruited lieutenants with ludicrous. Yeah. Dreams of getting cream, cream. Let's do this. this. It gets TDS. TDS. So, so I, I keep, keep what I open so, like yeah. CBS. So so I used stress, to listen right? to that, clue. right? That shit was on the clue. And I stopped the tapes. And I turned to my man and I'm like, yo, 
We gotta get some money. Yeah. Shine like a Brightland B gets yeah. tough. Niggas ain't know what the fuck he I always was tell talking about. Dudes, like, like, Nas was my favorite, but Nas made me want to be a rapper. Jay right. made me want to hustle. I wanted Jay to wanted get some money. money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. When he said trillion cut, what yeah. the fuck? Fuck are you yeah, talking like, about, right. what? Man, but I used right. to listen to Nas and them too because they was talking nah, about money right. too. Nah, right. fact. You know what I'm saying? But, but Jay was, talked a little different. Right. You knew Jay was on yeah. another level, yeah. right. bread-wise. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and, and on some real shit, to be honest, Jay was talking this shit that I kind of was, and I was kind of seeing it in my life. So I was piecing the shit together yeah. like, oh, okay. oh With this the older hustles on. you yeah, were saying. You know what I'm saying? And my family <laughs> members and shit. <laughs> You know, I might be in the in the living room peeking what's going on in yeah. the kitchen, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you find, oh, you piecing this shit together that he's saying, like, oh, this is shit I'm seeing for real. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, even with Nas, like, you know what I mean? And, and AZ, like, I used to listen to a lot of them coming up. What about what about Philly rappers? Like, was there any Philly rappers that was in your soundtrack at that age? At young age, we, this, we talking about before Beans and that? Yeah, yeah. Um, Not really. Keep it above. No, 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 no. Because not that really. new age rap after Nas and Jay, no, motherfuckers' no. rhyme style changed. Yeah. So after that, the Philly rappers talking that shit that he's saying, he want yeah. he don't want to hear motherfuckers. What's no, up? but even be, there was there was before that. So you saying before Beans and them? No, it wasn't really yeah. no before because all right when I when I when I was younger, that's when they wave came out. The that's what I'm saying. Figures and all right. I'm like, right. you know what I'm saying. So we were listening to some niggas from Philly, but we ain't really had nobody. Okay. Major like, figures. You know it's just crazy. They, 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 they fucked. Fuck you know what I'm saying? They fucked the street. They was popping. Yeah, they the was, time. but that was still that was still. After. No, no, I'm after saying that was after. Yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of fast forwarding. Yeah, they still. When major fig when figure yeah. when major figures started. Y'all was fucking with them heavy, what? the whole city. Hell yeah. We fuck with them. Yeah, we do. Hell did. yeah, made the figures. Yo, like, whatever I happened. I don't understand how they never got signed. Duchess Fade. Oh, no, man, whatever happened to fire. Philly's Most Wanted? I mean, they was fired too. Them niggas was fired. Yeah, we had a lot of shit. Pharrell did they time. whole album, my yeah. nigga. You know, Fact. Philly always, to this day, <coughs> I feel like, um, like, you know how when it come to basketball, you know a motherfucker from NY, gonna, he gonna have handle, right? You gonna yeah. know how to dribble. Philly got them spitters, man. In music, sure. it's like, Philly have some of the illest spitters I ever heard in my saying. life. Like, and like it's super aggressive. Fast. You know what I'm saying? Like even um, I remember even somebody like that you wouldn't expect. Like I remember watching what was the show, the Diddy show, making oh, the band. Oh, right? he them. Yeah, I remember seeing yeah. Ness on the show, but then I remember watching him battle my son, and I'm like, that Philly came out of him. Oh, in the man. battle, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like is, is, that, is, that, that Philly the niggas is the man. most disrespectful battle rappers. <laughs> but see, I think they brought a unique bounce that New York didn't have, like in the flow. Like a PD crack had that little bounce. Yeah. Um, who was PD's man? Um, um, some some car shit. His name we like uh, I don't know. uh some Indy shit. In, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Like okay. they all had that little bounce to their flow. Shit. Um, Where New York was was super conversational. You yo, know I know I'm bouncing around, right? When that Freeway Cassidy battle... Oh, that was legendary. Right. Damn, bro, yeah, right. Because I yeah. fucked with Freeway. Well, that was legendary. Cassidy ate that nigga, though, bro. Right, right. like, like it That's ain't hurt wrong. Freeway. Freeway career still lasted after. But that shit was like... Like, it had Freeway stuck. Like, yo, yo, turn the beat on. But that's... Well, he, well, that's, that's rap, though. That's, that's real right. hip-hop. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The fact that, you know what I'm saying? They went up in there and really just... Spit like he yeah. hot, it, let's go then. Like you know what I'm yeah. saying, and then it, and it, and that's it. No, like no that's shit. it. We yeah. just spit. That's the yeah, battle. Yeah. Nigga ain't but it ain't. No we nigga. just spit yeah, yeah. for real, for real. Fact. Like you know real what I'm saying. Right. Like right. definitely real. Just right. letting you know what's up. I'm bringing my young boy. You bring your young boy. Like you know Skid what I'm out. saying. Was out. you seeing that like growing up, outside of like the hustling shit you seeing, you seeing that rap shit growing in your neighborhood? Oh, of course. That was now. Listen, you gotta think what's going on at the same time. Like. You know, um, all right, so, so now, hold up, what time are we talking about? Like, all right, let's go back. All right, say when Beans started to pop. All right, boom, now, all right, now we got, you got Beans on, and then you got, you know, everybody rapping. Now, at this time now, Beans on for a couple <coughs> years now. Now, Meek, the battle rap scene start cracking. Right. Meek, Reed Dollars, all these dudes. All right, you know hold on, saying? stop. Meek, Reed Dollars, yeah. battle. In the street, yeah. nappy braid meat. Yeah. Now he ain't popping or nothing, but Reed Dollars was hot. Yeah, Reed Dollars. Fire Reed, for Reed sure. Dollars. Fi I'm following sure. the nigga. Yeah. Fact. Reed Dollars was hot. Was you Was you there for that battle? 
Which one? Damn. The one they got the brains in? Yeah. No, I never see the meek and read dog battle in person. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I never see them battle in person. It's like. They was getting it in, though. No, listen, they would be getting it in. It's like, that's how I used to catch meat battles. No bullshit. Mm-hmm. Because, all right, he used to hang. First of all, he used to battle uh, some 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 dude that used to be around my neighborhood. Streets, him and Streets used to battle. Ooh. So, you know what I'm saying? So, the, guy, the younger guys from my neighborhood and, and, and Meek and them, they kind of had tension on the battle tip. Like, you know what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying? For real. And I was the younger than the neighborhood. I'm just like, that's my cousin. Like, I'm going to have to rumble with him. Yeah. I ain't got enough pool in the hood to be like, no, we ain't doing yeah, nothing yeah, yet. I'm yeah. like, I'm just, I'm just rumbling with him. I'm yeah. letting y'all know. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know what I mean? So it's like, uh, fucking, um, I used to catch day battles, but then you, you would just hear it. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because the shit was cracking so much. Yo, me about the battle such and such over here. That shit would be spreading through the streets. Mm. Like, so I just pull up. <coughs> like, yo, we all going to know we about to battle such and such. <laughs> yeah. You just go to a battle. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, or I just hear about it and pop up here, look up, see me in the back, yo, talk, what's up? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit used to be like ringing out like a party. Like, so, so the hood, the hood knew that Meek was special with that yeah, shit. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. All right, because you know, a lot of times it'd be, you know, a lot of people got the story of, yo, at first nobody believed in me, and then, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I honed my craft and then I became better. But some people just got it, some people just gifted yeah, with it. Yeah, the thing with Meek, man, he outworked niggas. Okay. Right. That's where got he where he, where he at. He outworked niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? When, when he was in the group Bloodhounds, when he was in his group, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people like Mel Love over me. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it was Mel Love was kind of like the star of the group. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And and Meek was you know how what many saying? people was in it the was group? Three people. Who's all Meek, in the group? Meek, Mel Love, and Lil. Like you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that's Bloodhounds. You know what I'm saying? That's post. You know what I'm saying? But. Thing meek, he just outworked people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. To this day, he'd be the last one up in the studio. I'm talking about just him and the engineer. Mm. He ain't take a nap. He ain't even sit down. Yeah, I be seeing him a lot of interviews. Like when you go to Breakfast Club, or whatever. He be like, "Yo, I ain't go to sleep last nah, night." Nah, for real, he ain't lying. I'm talking it's about right. it's 10 a.m. Mm. It's 10 o'clock. He waking <laughs> niggas up, yo. Come on, man. I ain't been asleep. Somebody, somebody gotta stay up with me. Real. It's just him, security, and his engineer. They the only real three shit. niggas up. Nah, that's real shit. For real. You destined to get a bag like that. The nigga, he the like first one fight. up and the last one sleep. Every sure. day. He earned his. For sure. He put in his fat. work. He outwork niggas, super man. Fat. All right. So, all right. We gonna, we gonna get back to the, uh-huh. to, to even. To the rap. We gonna get back to the rap now. Now, we talked about the beans. We probably get back to that. All right. When, when, let's kind of fast forward. When y'all, when the Drake shit popped. Yeah. What the fuck happened? What made him, listen, mad niggas even wondering what made Meek even say something about the ghostwriting and shit. Why he ain't just fall back and get his bag? His, his, he just did 200 some thousand his first mm-hmm. week. Fuck if Drake ain't come to his show or got a nigga ghostwrite his, his verse on the Rico joint. <clears throat> Why say something? Keep it real. Y'all niggas in the back probably like, bro. I'm gonna keep it a buck with keep you. It a buck. I don't know what was going on. I was on the tour bus. When that happened. <laughs> he was in a hotel. No, nah, real shit. Right. I was on the tour Where bus. Where was y'all at? I was in the, I, what, I forget, what, what, what city? I forget what state we was coming right. from. I know we was on the West Coast somewhere, probably. I know I was on the tour bus, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know what happened, but I'm gonna be honest. This is probably. The Barbara Walters vibe. I'm gonna say that give for Meek because he yeah. gotta get that to them. You gotta give us something. You gotta give us something. You gotta give us something. I'm gonna say that for Cut. I just don't really know what was. I really yeah. don't know what was going on though. No bullshit. Like you know what I'm saying. I seen it the same time people seen it. Like real shit. And I was like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? It, it fucked me up like it fucked the world up. That's all I'm going to say, though. You know what I'm saying? But I really don't know. Like, what's some real shit? Did you, you say cuz? Fuck you was on, cuz. I just said it is what it is. You know what right. I'm saying? So you was basically right back cause, right though. back to growing up with the battle, and you was like, it was the same thing. You was like, yo, I'm rumbling with him. Yeah, it just I'm is what it is. Well, like, it you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to I wanna go back to real I can't, quick. I can't, I can't really. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, you know, we family, like, I, I, I won't really, like, I can't really, I'm not going to say if I said it was right or wrong, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
You know what I'm saying? It's it is, right no matter what. Yeah, and I'm going to talk to you yeah, later. And yeah, if it's it wrong, it's like that. Yeah, it is what it is. And it's, 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 it's the like, game, you know too. It's the game, um, too. It's man. a competitive yeah. game, man. It's all right, all right. When you got to keep it a buck, right? After that, yeah. when Drake dropped back to back, yeah. how you feeling? Keep, um, keep, it's over now. Look, no, what happened? No, back to back, it was, it was, it definitely was a bomb. I ain't going to front. It was a, it was a fire track. Uh, but not really. Why not. it took so long for him to respond? Because on some real shit, we wasn't. He wasn't gonna respond. I don't think. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I'm trying to remember how it came out. The first song came out. Second song came out. The first shit was whack. The charge up. It was. A, it was a warm up. Was it was a yeah, bait yeah. song. It was whack. Now, let me keep it all the way a thousand. Meet this track. It was whatever. I'm gonna keep it above. Yeah. But that war, war ready. What, what was that? What was that war shit? Pain. War pain. War yeah. pain. Crazy. Hard. Crazy. If you'd have dropped that first, yeah. that shit would have been terror. You know what it reminded me of? And you was on that joint. How you get on that joint right there? I, yeah, yeah. A lot of people I don't. I wasn't on war pain. Was I? You was talking shit at the end. That wasn't you. Talking about you showed me the utmost respect when you see me. That's not war pain. What that's was a that? Different record. That's what a, was that? That's uh the game. Uh, the did. game yeah, disc. You get you get in the head. You get in the head. Oh yeah, I'm slipping. Yep. That's that's what yeah, that's what yeah, I'm what I'm yeah, saying. You, know what I you was about. on that though. Yeah. I'm See, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. back then. Meek was Meek was Meek was beef with a lot of niggas, man. Yo. Way to start that beat. Yo, I think about. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead. I apologize to the people. All right. <laughs> they always be tripping because I be cutting niggas off. But at least I cut my partner off. Yeah. All right. We got the Drake beef. Yeah. Now we got the game beef. What happens when Beans comes in the studio, do his shit? What made, how did the switch up happen? I don't know how the switch up happened. Like, again, I wasn't there, but he you came in the studio. We was in, a, uh, we was in a hood. It was in a neighborhood studio. So, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like far fetched, like you know what I'm saying. He came through the studio. Uh, Meek wasn't even there, like you know what I'm saying. Meek wasn't dropping no game. He wasn't dropping no disc for him neither, like you know what I'm saying. But I guess it was like that was the first time the city seen that type of camaraderie in a minute, like you know what I'm saying. So the energy was fun. It felt good in the city that night. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, but I be thinking about uh, looking back you at all like fuck with deep, though. all the classic like hip hop beefs and shit, right? Cause it really comes down to music at the end of the day, right. especially when you're on the outside looking in. You know what I'm saying? Nobody dying. Big impact. You know what I'm saying? It's about music. Like everybody right. thought Nas was down right. and out, right? Jay had all the advantages, but then Ether came. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. and I look at that. I remember um hearing what interviews y'all think and shit. was better than Jay shit anyway. But go ahead. Yeah, I, I'm 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 riding with Nas in that situation, just personally. But he had a whole song dedication. Ho really he only could, had a verse. You know, it I was him and Prodigy. Yeah, I don't I think, saying. um... No, 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 yeah, Ether was, was hard. It Ether was okay. Was, yeah, I just think it's overrated. Like, they be yeah. making it like it's a... It was all right. I don't, was I don't right. think he won that, John. I'm sorry. Boy, you don't think who won? Nas. Were? No, I did not. Um, I, I think Ho won, too. Yeah, I I'm riding with Nas on that. You riding? Because you don't like Ho. So you... Not you, like, you yeah, not like that. But, yo, it was like... Nah, I remember, um, you know, these dudes who are super talented, like how you was talking about how Meek was young, you know, he always had it. You know what I'm saying? It's not, I don't think it's easy to sit down and dedicate bars, like, at another man. It it almost feels like a waste of time. That's why I feel like them super talented dudes like a Meek or a Nas, like, I remember um, Nas or Jungle doing an interview, I think, talking about Nas ain't want to respond. Like you said, he Meek He pulled up at respond. the light, jumped but out the window. they, like, press his mans and then pressure him. Like, yo, you got to come back yeah. at him. You got to come back at him. Heard him on the radio. He like, killing he, you. he coming at us. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Right. And it's like when you when you so close to somebody, especially y'all family, like, was y'all laying that pressure on him? Like, come on, man, say something. Because y'all know how ill your cousin is. You know he could do what he could do to him oh, at any oh. time. But you but you sitting back like, yo, you in the studio with him? Yeah, but no, because it's like I know what was going on in real time, like at, at that time. It's like, first of all, it's like, we ain't like, when you think about Nas and, and with Ether and. and what was it, Takeover? Yeah, how, how long how long apart was that? 
it's, right yeah. now it's the microwave it, era. Right. You got to respond tomorrow. Yeah. Right. Now it's waited like but, three months to respond right. to So hope. we thinking like, yeah. All right. Like, yeah, because y'all we, came up off that music too. Yeah. We really got shit lined up. We out right here now. trying yeah. to get a we bag. Right yeah. Right yeah. Like, yeah. We like, right. is it that? that but but that's yeah. what I think yeah. me, like, you know what quote saying? unquote, wasn't yeah. ready for. Yeah. And not, not that, that's not a bad thing. What I'm saying is, is is, is real. Meek is born yeah, battle yeah, rapping yeah. niggas. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like like he he is built for it. Cause right. when um like like I ain't even gonna say his disc record was okay. But like even with that game shit, yo, bro, that shit no, what's the shit he dropped the day um Drizzy War drops pain. summer sixteen? I don't know. I think it's Warpaint. Warpaint? Warpaint was the hard job. Nah, Warpaint but when was he was like, you was right? you was on the top floor, I was on the... That's Warpaint. That's, that shit was hard. Yeah, that shit was hard. That shit was hard, bro. Yeah. Like, 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 that shit was... That was he, caught, he grabbed the beat. He responded mm -hmm. the same day Drizzy, like, he had it early. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. Like, 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 out of which way, man. You know what I'm saying? One thing I can respect, I tell nigga all the time. Motherfucker will forget about if you lost a battle, as long as you drop some hard music. Uh -huh. Meek dropped a hard album. Yeah. When he yeah. when he when he dropped wins and losses, that was an actual hard album. You know what I'm saying? And that shit helped sustain the blow. You know what I'm saying? Like like whether people say Drake won the shit or not. You no, know, I was yeah. it fucked me up as a fan because I'm always a fan of good music and I'm always rooting for good music, especially street music because it hardly exists anymore, right? Mm -hmm especially street music on a big platform. And it was like, I hated to see what it did to Philly at that time. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I, I didn't like all that shit that was going on. Like, um, everybody, I understand shit is hard. You know what I'm saying? I understand everybody trying to get on and all this and that, but I'm always trying to keep an ear to like people coming up, especially Philly, because like we said, they got spitters. Mm -hmm. So when I saw like a, a sep of people that I would have wanted to see do a song together in mm. Philly, taking little subliminal shots or whatever, <coughs> I thought all that shit was whack. I'm glad mm. that that shit came and went quickly. Wonder. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Shit over with. Yeah, um, yeah. Was the energy fucked up though at that time? I mean, not really, man. It's not no tension that we ain't really used to in Philly. That's not, yeah. that's, that's, that's not an irregular climate for us. Okay. So um. we're just like, all right, you know what I'm saying? But it's some shit that niggas got past and Moving on, you know what I'm um, saying? So at, at, through the whole thing though, right? Yeah. What's what 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 role are you playing? You know what I'm saying? How, Cause see, roles get carved out when pressure is applied, right? Yeah. So you you know what I'm saying? Everybody steps up and fulfills their own their own role in those situations. Yeah, I maintain my role at all times. Word, word. For sure, the same. I maintain the same role at all times. It really don't. It don't change up ever. Yeah. So Yo. I know we went fast, right? Talking about the battling, fast forwarded all the way to like battling on a whole nother level, multi-million right. dollar battles right. and all that craziness. But like, just to take a little rewind and shit, like coming from those battles in the street or you knowing your cousin is gifted, knowing he might have a gift that could get y'all out of certain environments and certain situations you was in, like, did you ever really think that it, it was a reality, like y'all would really end up on this crazy platform with all these opportunities. Like, did you see it going there? Um, see, I, I That's everybody's know. dream, B. Like, like you a person that lived it, still living it. And it's cool to be right. like, nah, I didn't think it was gonna be happening, no, but I was happy sure. as hell no, when no, that no, shit happened. Sure, like, in the beginning, you know when, when, uh, you know, when this battle rap, man, you know what I'm saying? like. All right, so, you know, Meek and O'Malley was together all the time, like, you know, like, night and day, like, you know what I'm saying? I used to hang five, like, they on Snyder, I'm probably five blocks over on Seagull, you know what I'm saying? So I used to bend around the corner, I used to see them all day, you know what I'm saying? But I'm basically really dolo doing my thing, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? So, so uh, when I catch up with them on battles and or just in traffic, you know what I'm saying? I mean, or me pulling up on him, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, damn, cuz really on some shit. Then we buying his music. Then the mixtape starting to heat up in the street. It's like, damn, you know, we really on some shit. This we Flamers series. Yeah, we talking before Flamers. We talking uh -huh. about Bloodhounds. Like, that's what oh, had wow. South Philly buzzing. 
Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? We this high school still. Like, okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm with you. We driving to school, listening to you know blood and on CD. It's like, so you know, it's like, damn. All right, these guys are on some shit. You know what I'm saying? Then when meat continue to go, like, man, you really on some shit. So I remember, I did a, a semester of college and. Knoxville, Knoxville College. Tennessee? Yep, in Tennessee. Okay, you know so what I'm saying? What so made you shoot all the way Tell people you're smart then, man. What's oh, up, man? Sure. <laughs> so uh, I had, I had uh, my aunt found that college for me. I had caught a little case in Philly and shit when I was 17. What happened with the case, man? Uh, Drug dealer's dream. Man. No, it was, a, it was a gun case. You know what I'm saying? I had, a, uh, I had a gun on me and shit. I got, you know, the bike cops jumped out on on me you and let shit. the bike cops jump on me? Like I was walking. Oh, you yeah. know it's Philly. Yeah, I'm 17. I'm, I'm trooping. Right. I'm See, on, a lot of a lot of people right say here. like that their environment or their upbringing it was like that. Yo, I keep it on me. I do all that. But a lot, you know, we all know that that shit is sometimes. You be having to keep it on. Was that? Was nah, that the yeah, real? No, nah, this is what. Come on, this was some of the worst. The worst year in Philly, like on record, like that's what I'm getting you know what I'm at. Like, yeah, is that like, was that really nah, the environment? Everybody in Philly was stressed. Okay. Everybody was stressed, especially my corner. We was going to war like three different corners. Twenty first and Seagull yeah, Street. Yeah, you know, you always yeah. even Beans yeah. talk about his corner was legendary. Yeah. That's your corner. Yeah, yeah. Even visit in Philly, everything is like this. Nah, in fact, that shit go down. You yeah, go to war, niggas a block away from you. Okay, for real. So that's yeah, the type of shit stressed. I want. I want you to shed light on like. Yeah, I was strapped. I was gonna go meet a girl. Fucking girl, always lying, talking about them yeah, coming out right now. You know, you walking yeah. and meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Walking and meeting and shit. You know what I'm saying? My mom ready to go to my mom sleep. She upstairs for the night. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready right. to sneak a girl in downstairs. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I grabbed my pistol. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm gonna go meet the girl. Fucking, you know, I remember I had a, a, a coat, four pounds. Okay. And they only took like seven shots. You had a big little gun for a little <laughs> nigga, man. They only took like seven shots. So I took yeah. the, I had the other clip in my pocket too. Like I had both clips with me, like just in case it got nasty <laughs> outside. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I'm coming out the bar and shit. Come out the bar. Bike cops coming out. I'm saying play. Now mind Ooh. you, you said you how old? I'm 17. Coming out the bar. Yeah. See, these are things that people don't understand why. Yeah, so nah, I just want yeah. you. Yeah, I don't want you cause, just because it's regular to you. I don't want nah, you in the twine and the drug dealer like, drink yeah, shit. I got like facial hair. Shit. I got like a little beard at 17. So it's like, right. and I got you know it's my neighborhood. Like you know what I'm saying. So right. they jump out on me like really probably like on some curfew shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So uh, I had a war rich on. I had a gun in my pocket. You had to throw, you had the war rich on, so yeah, you were getting a little came, money. I came out the, <laughs> yeah, I came out the war rich and uh, took off. I think it was like Spider Man. I felt like that nigga was kicked off the wall or something. <laughs> Tangled me. Boy, they beat the brakes off me. Facts. Uh, they Her had the cops on the ground. How the, how the, the cops, yeah, to explain the well, cops. They beat the brakes off me. I'm, not, I'm on the ground for, for at least, I'm on the ground for like five minutes. I see a, a car pull up. Walkie talkie slide in front of my face. He take his, he put his knee in my uh, cheek and rub my face in the uh, street and shit. Like, you're with the big he, boys now. So, like, that's what he told me. You with the big boys now. So, boom. Scrape you, my shit all up. When you catch that case, you pled out. What happened? Yeah, so, uh, you know, I'm going to tell you some crazy shit. So, I'm out there, boom, I'm in the back of the, uh, the uh, ambulance and shit, cause they sent me in. or the paddy wagon or some shit, yeah. the paddy wagon. All I remember is the thing, yo, yeah, your mom coming around the corner. I wasn't scared up until then. Yeah, you that's the way saying, it usually bro. be. I'm like, oh my Don't call my mom. <laughs> yeah, here yeah. she come. You know what I'm saying? Hurry up, shut the door. <laughs> shut the door. She met me at the hospital. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the hospital, so they fucked you up that bad. Yeah, they had to take me to the hospital. I had to get going up, you know what I'm saying? They fucked me up. You know, part of our responsibility with this podcast, part of the reason we do it is because um, you shouldn't have to be a celebrity to tell important stories like this that shed yeah. light on the bullshit that goes on. Nah, like, of course, like the Beans, Beans being a celebrity rapper, you know, he, he documented his whatever shootout with the police, right. mad times, right. yeah. you know, but that's that same neighborhood, right? right. If yeah, I'm wrong, sure. Meek, obviously, 
talk, you see he's still going through shit with with That's the same the district. That's the same we same definitely district. get into that. We so, about to get into that. So what I'm saying district. is like it's ill for you to share these stories because um it ain't just the high profile people, you know what I'm uh, saying? It shit happens. Man, no. Like on a daily basis. And one thing we like to talk about on the show, you ain't gotta be a kingpin to be on our show. No. Like like niggas be acting like niggas think cause you come on our show you gotta embellish what you did. Just because you wasn't a kingpin don't mean you wasn't getting money. Yeah, don't mean sure. you ain't do shit. For sure. Like, 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 listen, and my cousin yeah. is Scrams. We're going to shout Scrams out yeah, on this show, man. Scrams out. Bro, I'm man. Scrams, sure. right? Listen, that's my cousin. He crazy. Close cousin. <laughs> that's his cousin. Me and him <laughs> fam. Yeah, for real. Listen, listen. Scrams tell me <laughs> he in Philly. He used to go to Philly a lot. <laughs> With you, man. For sure. So you used to get it in in the street. <laughs> like, 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 your phone and shit so clicky, he was scared one day, man. <laughs> Tell me about what you had going on in these streets, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's over with. Satchel limitations over, man. I don't even know. I got to count the years. I'm, count, I'm counting it right here, right now. Like it was seven said. years ago, man. We gonna <laughs> yeah, say it seven sure. years. Yeah, it ain't sure. seventy sure. years. What happened seven years seven ago, years. man? Nah, Scrams used to come down, man. That's when uh, shit was cracking back then. You know what I'm saying? You know we was young, man. You know this about eight years ago, <laughs> nine. maybe nine yeah, years you know ago. What I'm saying for real, like you know what I mean, but yeah, uh, he used to come down and. I was in the mix, man. He used to see what was going on. It used to be cracking out there. Let me ask you, know you kind of a personal question, right? Yeah. If you don't want to answer, just say you don't want to answer. It's all good. But you, I like how you mentioned your pops earlier, yeah. right? Yeah. And, you know, it came a time when you felt you was man enough to tell your pops, nah, I ain't coming with you. Yeah, you know? for sure. So what's what's you and your pops' relationship at this point? Well, that's my dog, man, you know, still. You know. I'm like, I'm talking about at the point where when you're saying no and you're getting into these, these, these oh. issues, yeah. like what's going on? I mean, well, my pop was a hustler before he got into all that. You know okay. what I'm saying? So, so know, he kind of understood what was he, going on. He know what's up. You know what I'm saying? He did his job. You know okay. what I'm saying? And he still was doing his job. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know. You made your choice. It's like tough love. You made your choice now. It's like, all right, I'm going to be there for you. Okay. So when I catch a case, you know, I caught the gun case. So it's all right, I'm right there. You know what so what I'm saying? at the same time, between these cases and all that, are you still going to the studio and thinking like, yo, this is our way out? No, see, now, all right, now, early on, when I'm catching cases, the first case, 17, I'm in high school. I'm never Ain't going no to rap I'm never going to the studio with them. Like, me, right. I'm sure he in the studio. You know what I mean? Throughout, when I get out of that, you know what I'm saying, then I do the, I catch the case. My aunt find me the, I get probation. I get probation for six months. Okay. My aunt find me to college and, uh, Tennessee. Yeah, I go. I that pass. was their family way to yeah. say, get your ass yeah, up out of here. Right. They get me up out of here. Right. I do the right. fucking six months. I pass in school. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right, I come back. But boom, in the midst of that, my mom get cancer. Mm. So I do the six months. I pass in school. I'm like, Shh, you know what I'm saying? I see my mom's health going down. I'm out. I come home. When, uh, my mom passed away. Mm. Now I got a crib. It's me and my sister. Damn. Sorry to hear that. Bro. I ain't going back to college. That shit is a wreck. Word, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Your sister way. younger? My sister older. older you know okay. what I'm saying? Well, my sister just moved. She, she she just graduated Spelman. She moved back for that reason. So at this time, um, oh, so who had the job first? So, oh, so now, boom. When I moved back, yeah, I jumped right on board. You know what I'm saying? I started doing me immediately. And fucking, she don't got no job. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. in the beginning, it's me taking care of the credit. Like, you she, got any she kids or anything at this time? Nah, no, 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 you know, the illest part I want to stop yeah. at that is motherfuckers don't understand how life could throw you curveballs. Nah, like, like, like right. he could have been on college and worked on Wall Street <laughs> later. Whoever exactly. the fuck. Sure. My mom's exactly. passed away. Yeah, it's me and my sister in this house. Right. She lost her job. I got to get oh, this back. money. Yeah. Like, 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 that's, that shit Thanks. tough. You know what I'm saying? Or Man. she don't got no job. She just graduated. Man. She ain't find that ill right. job yet. Right. Let me let me hold right. down this household and make sure the family's yeah. straight. Right. And, You're the man in the house for real. And, and, and real motherfuckers media. on the outside looking in, the media, the government, <sighs> like, oh no, nah, you had every opportunity. Nah, I really didn't. No, like, like I did until that point. 
Yeah. But life threw me lemons. I had to make lemonade. Man. Like like with right. what I had to do. And that's that right or wrong, that's the drug dealer's dream. Wow, really I gotta I the drug dealer's dream is to make sure my family's straight, stay out of jail, and right. live a prosperous life. You know what I'm saying? Not be a sucker. And get out. You know what I'm saying? And get out and make right. something of myself. Right. Maybe do wrong until I can make right happen. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And right. that shit is that shit is the fucked up shit. Yo, because you know what? I want he people ain't to wrong understand. for hustling after that point because he might have hustled and the family said pushed him in the right direction right. and go to college but goddamn my mom's got killed or my mom's died yeah. passed away pause yeah. what i'm saying yeah. is it's parallel it happened to my son yeah. my son 20 now his mom's passed uh -huh. when he was 16 he just turned 17. cancer uh -huh. same thing he look he come to live with me uh -huh. but that don't mean because he lived good that whole time. I spoiled him. His mom spoiled him. That he lost and he feel like yeah. going a different way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I don't knock him for that. Mm -hmm. I still try to cuff him and mm -hmm. make sure he do right. But they ain't wrong to feel like yo mm -hmm. fuck that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like like mm -hmm. when your pops was around, but that don't mean shit. Nah, yeah, you know what I'm nah, saying? Fuck, man, my, <coughs> and my pop was around, but nobody made sure I was cool like my mom. Like. It's, it's no like there's no love like yeah, people feel yeah, like that that's like a different type of love like, you know what i'm saying no. different type of love. your pop gonna be tough love you're a man dog like you know what i'm saying right, right. And, <laughs> and, and my pop may even want to be that he gonna even give me more assistance but it's yeah. still like oh figure that shit out and then you're like yeah. your mom like, like you feel like i'm a man now yeah yeah my mom's so like, passed yeah, mom whether my pop said or not oh it's lit we yeah. got the crib i'm back right don't even worry about it we gonna figure it out you know what i'm saying you yeah, figure it out. So what's the plan you know what at this point? So like, now, boom, I know we, you got the street shit popping, but I know you got like an exit plan because obviously uh, so you're listen, a smart dude. We uh, well, none of this was planned. You know what I'm uh, saying? It's like I'm about to say I have a plan at like, that age. It's like it's 18. You ain't cracking, got no yeah, you're right. It's still it's 18. Fucking um, yeah. then cuz you know what I'm saying? Cuz get uh, cuz still cracking, but he get in, he get in trouble. Yeah. He get locked up. You know what I'm saying? Are y'all having talks at this point? Like, are y'all having talks? Like, some we gotta, we doing this for now, but this music shit gonna work. Like, no, we not. It's too we, young. We not having talks because we still like. I'm still not even kicking it with them every day. Gotcha. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's just your cousin. That's you know you. Cuz, like that's right. my cousin. Like, gotcha. it's my, like we got love for each other. We see each other every day in the hood. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what right. I'm saying? And we'll get out, bust it, and. Keep it pushing, like right. you know what I'm saying. We might spend a day together here and there. You know what I'm saying. He introduced me to North Philly, like you know what I'm saying. I'm a South Philly guy. I start riding up north with him. Okay. You know what I'm saying. That so, helps you get money though too, right? Yeah, no, it just helped with everything, man. It's Relationship. Just like, it's just a whole nother world out north, like. What's the difference? South Philly, it's like, uh, it's just so, at this time South Philly, the wild wild west. I ain't even gonna lie. Okay. It's mm -hmm. going down, down there. You know what I'm saying? It's just like. Especially in our area, they got they call it the uh, the box. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's going down. Just a lot of homicides, like so. You know, it's like the North was like a breath of fresh air. It's like a bunch of motherfuckers getting paper. It go down up there too, but it's so big. It's like a bunch of niggas really on money. Like you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like fucking the, the '90s up there right now. Like okay. still, okay. people outside the neighborhood cracking. Okay. Like you know what I'm saying? It's popping out north. There's a bunch of chicks I never seen. Word. You know what I'm saying? So I fell in love with North Philly. Like okay. you know what I'm saying? So, but you know that's how we used to do it. You know what I'm saying? We'd kick it over a couple of days, and you know what I'm saying? We might not hang it up for a week or two. All right. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, right. so we talking about music. I'm like, yo, boom. You know what I'm saying? I see you. I'm with you. Right, like, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it still ain't looking like y'all ain't banking on that for a way out. You got they kids, you got 18, 19. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I'm sure Cuz always knew. Right. He always had his vision for right. sure. But you got to okay. handle business. You Man, like, listen. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let's fast forward a little. Rose reds and my diamonds blue. All right, so now this time, at this time, it's cracking. Now, people don't know that was an early Meek Mill song before the deal came. Thanks. I remember that song. It was popping. No, this time it's cracking. Cuz putting in his work. He doing his thing in the city. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm linking up with him. And it's like, um, I want to say, I remember he on house arrest. You know, for the cases, and you know what I'm saying? Now, that's when we start chilling the most, cuz. All right. No, I'm sorry. He get the apartment of Allegheny. 
Shit cracking a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That's a house arrest first. I remember Cassidy did the freestyle when he was on house arrest. That was oh, around that oh, time. He came. No, no, no. I think the apartment all again came in one second. I don't know. Anyway, let's just say we on house arrest or whatever. He on house arrest. And, you know, it's around the corner from me in the hood. So I'm always pulling up and shit. You know what I'm saying? And his grind. And there, this one I knew, like, yo, yeah. Bro, you know, some shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas making songs now, songs as bangers. Right. You know what I'm saying? Flamers cracking. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, Flamers too. Some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, shit cracking. Like, you know what I'm saying? We got the fucking, the, uh, the burning machines in the crib. We burning CDs. CDs. We, put, we, put, we, put, we putting the work together. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Bagging putting up. Work together. Like, bagging up. Like, right. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? This shit really going to go. And that shit really went. Like, you know what I'm saying? For real. Break that down, So man. the T.I. Like, deal come first. All right, so T.I. come um, first. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He like them it. CDs really going, though. I just want you to tell because no, no, it's a lot of aspiring rappers and it's no, a lot of people who's wanting to rap at that time. going. Like, and, them shit's going $10 I mean. in the hood, like, that's back to I back. Like, one thing about the new shit, man, is like, you know, like I'm a fan of music. Like, I enjoy the whole process of this shit. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Going down to the mom and pop. Like, we used to go to the record bar in Southfield. Right. Going down to the record bar. That's what it was called, the yeah, record bar. Yeah, it's a mom and pop story. Right. And got, no, oh, let me get, y'all got the new meat mixtape or whatever, or the <laughs> new whatever so shit right. was out. Right. New major figures, whatever, y'all got this. And like, that was the process, you know what I'm saying? And, or when you was the nigga, you was getting it, you know what I'm saying? The shit came out Tuesday, but you was getting it Thursday. Word. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Going yeah. to that, yeah, I got that shit early, Already. nigga. Yeah, they right. got it down there at such yeah. and such, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You felt even good to be the first one with it. Right, you circle. feel me? Yeah, yeah. like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's like, that whole process, we loading them stores up. I remember them niggas going, DJ Difference going to every store, dropping So y'all dropping off. the CDs off? Dropping on the consignment CDs or they paying you know up front? They, they buying them junk. Mm, see, that's real. See, they people buying. don't know how real that is because yeah. you know you start with like, yo, please take my shit. Yeah. But y'all let it get to they think I got it first, you better get it. Right. Why they, they buying them junk. Right. Yeah, they right. buying boxes. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then it's like, damn. Is he on the radio at all at this time? Yeah, or? radio cracking, you okay. know what I'm saying? Cosmic Cav showing love for sure. You know what I'm saying? Was, Cosmic Cav seems like he fuck with all the new up and coming. Like he get it first. Yeah, Cosmic Cav definitely put on for the city, man. He definitely play uh play the music in the city. You know what I'm saying? All the artists. Like sure. Cosmic Cav be seeming like he need like a uh, syndicated show. Like with all the illest freestyles, all the yeah. niggas who come to the city. The come they up fuck show. With, they fuck with, but, but what I'm saying, I fuck with Cosmic Cab. That's one thing I can say is he for the culture. He yeah. ain't with the 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 cotton candy fluffy shit. Nah. He with the bullshit, the Vados, the Lloyd Banks. You gotta want to see Curves, people from Philly come the up. The Curves, the Cassidy's, man. the Meeks. Yo, the Philly Be radio always been like kind of um. It always been like kind of under the radar, but at the same time make a huge impact. Like, nah, like sure. um. Even when that, like, that Bean, like, like, it's so many classic moments, like, uh, when Gilly spazzed on Beans, right? Yeah. On the joint. That was, that was crazy, Phone right? Phone call flow. Right, right. And, she and when, crazy. um, when no, Bean spazzed on Jay yeah. with Charlemagne, you know hey, what I'm saying? Listen, like, no, no, it's this, mad this, Philly It's moment. like, it's like, I got a Philly nigga here, so I kind of want to, when that Gilly Bean shit was, like, is, 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 I ain't trying to pause. No dick right on the... Is Gilly an ill nigga in Philly? What you mean? I mean? Like, 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 like. He was talking to Beans like he wasn't Broad Street Bully. Is it just the fact that niggas just ain't soft and nigga ain't gonna play like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like. Yeah, Gilly went in on that. On that Gilly thing. went in on that, on that shit, bro. It's over with now. I'm just talking about past shit. I ain't trying to rehash it. You know, no, what I mean, I mean, shit. You know, I was young when okay. that happened, man. You get what I'm saying? I'm an older but nigga, so shit like that. That shit, uh. I mean, I was surprised to hear him talking to Beans like that, to too. Him crazy. He was talking to him crazy. You know? The illest shit about it, I know you heard about, if we, if we gonna stay on Gilly, the 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 Lil Wayne Ghost Rider rumors, right? 
it's, you, I ain't gonna say you on the inside because I don't know. That might have been when yeah, you was young too. I don't know if he wrote that shit. You know what I'm okay. saying? But I, I mean. I don't know. I, it, ain't, it ain't hard to believe. Okay. You know, really nice. I ain't gonna lie. Really nice. In, in ninety, in, in, in that time, like Beans was the only nigga hotter than Gilly. Like to me, me well, Gilly was hot. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Gilly was fucking fire. Like, you know I always saying? thought Spado was hot. I Spado was too. Was Spado hot. too. But they might shout out to Spado. Top three. Stop playing. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know who was your Who was your top three at yeah, that time? Yeah, Philly. Yeah, Beans, Spade, and uh, Gilly. Fair. Crazy. Listen, I'm I'm saying saying the bus. Bus. crazy. No, Billy listen. Let me keep it a. Shit, let me Word. keep it a thousand. Shit. Word. 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 Spado Word. still Word. fire. Facts. Word. Super facts. Drop three joints. Listen, bro, listen. I, I listen to him. Spado Word. dropped wild joints lately. He 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 dropped some heat. Now, when Dutch and Spade was, forget major figures. I ain't gonna discredit major figures. When they went to entertainment. They was popping. No, they when they dropped a yeah. joint with Cameron, one of the best. Like, 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 come on. Like, bro. we talk about back and forth versus. Like, like, like we like. talk about, like, uh, MOP. We talk about Styles and Jada. The way they went back and forth, the way Dutch and Spade had that chemistry, <coughs> man, I thought they listen. was on their way. I thought they no, was on their no, way. Listen, when they dropped a joint with done. Killer, yeah. I, 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 we, we went out a couple months ago. Yeah, we did. That was part was of my soundtrack. Yeah, and we was going I crazy. I played that we was shit. Going crazy in the world. No, listen, I don't know what happened on. with that. Major Figures was definitely like super one fat. of the, uh, they You know, you know from the outside looking in, let well, me tell you what I think happened. I don't think, I, don't, I can't remember. Dutch I think, and Spade was I nice. Think, Spado's still working hard, though. I can't though. remember a lot Spado of niggas working better like, than them at that era. Word, word. Them niggas was But fire. yo, let me just interject, right? I think Philly happened to them. Real Man. shit from the outside Just looking in. Just the street. In. Yeah, because Spade I, watched, body. I watched Philly happen to... Philly happens to everybody. Everybody, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Except Eve Wilson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta <laughs> yeah. 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 Nah, no, listen. Spade is like... No, Philly's right. like the Q's. Right. Listen, right. no, bro. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Nah, listen. Philly yeah. is the Q's. Come on, man. That's why... We, why you think we be trying to get Meek off that probate? Niggas been trying to leave. That's what I'm saying. It'll happen to you, man. You'll get caught up in that yeah. shit, man. Yeah. It just bound to happen, like you know, because it's Bruh. like I said, man. Like in that in that city, like the shit is always intense. Like it's always some shit going See, on. See, I, I just, either got to make a movie like Will Smith or marry a billionaire no, you gotta get to get fuck, up out no, of Philly, gotta, bro. No, you gotta get the fuck up out of Philly. Or be Jill Scott. So all them niggas, all, like what all them niggas didn't do, they didn't roll. You know who I think Philly happened to one of the most? They didn't roll. Yeah, I just want to bring him up because I always thought he was a superstar. Who the Petey Crack? I always felt For like sure. Petey Crack I always nice. always felt Petey like Crack Philly was a superstar. To crack. P.D. Like, Crack, sure. low, no yeah. disrespect, yeah. P.D. Crack was a 90s, early 2000s Lil Uzi Vert. Superstar. Not not on the on the weird shit, but he was a superstar. Like, people yeah, see Lil Uzi Vert, I don't be, I don't be, listen, I don't be listening to, his, yeah. to yeah. his, to his, to his music like that. I'm not playing him. But you can tell he's a star. Petey Crack so was crazy. a star. His flow when he so jumped crazy. on that Neo, yeah. I was yeah. like, Petey Crack is out of here. Oh, Forget all his old it, it rap. The state, that Petey Crack was nice. The, if you go back for our listeners, right, who may be not into music as much as we are, all right. but music is so important. It's so important. Okay. If you go back to that State Property album, which is extremely slept on, all right? Yeah. It's extreme. That's a classic album for on the sure, list. fire. Crack had verses on there, bro, that stood out no, so sure. crazy. Let me tell you where it's Crack had his illest yes. verses. Yes. On that beat coming. PD Crack was with Beans on that ring, that ring. Thing. Like, like, PD Crack, crack was, I got to have it. So in Philly. Yo, so PD Crack me was, not was being ill. In Philly. Me not being in Philly, right? Yeah. Feeling his verses and shit, feeling like he was ill. Was he having an impact in Philly like that? Yeah, he was fired. He just okay. was so before his time, like, you know what I'm saying? He That's why I say that. Niggas. No disc discredit to Petey Crack on the Lil Uzi Vert. But what I'm saying, on some 90s rap, yeah. to early 2000 rap, he was a superstar to me. Yeah. I, I know Like, like the I same know. way the young exactly. boys think Lil Uzi Vert right, is right. a star. I know what you're saying. He, got, he had that star quality. He had something that Like, even when himself. Hov tapped him to do that Neo song, right. he saw it in him, like... Boy, he's a superstar. Man. You know what I'm sure. saying? Super yeah, facts. Sure. Like, like yeah. I hate that he ain't pop. You Me know what too. I'm saying? Like, like he had, no, sure. he had he to sacrifice. The, the Philly, Philly happened. Shit. Yeah. Philly had What's up happened. with the drugs in Philly, bro? Like, what? Why y'all started on, sipping syrup when no one else was? Y'all was on syrup and popping pills I mean, before. That's, that's yeah. a part of it. 
That's a part of the heritage. Like, but see, we didn't have that heritage. Like yeah, we saw just, like water flood the hood, but we didn't see niggas like dipping their syrup in. Yeah, and we didn't see that shit. Shit. No, no, shit. No, we, we, Why? How y'all got on that shit? What the syrup? Yeah, yeah. yeah the the beans dropped the yeah, song. How y'all got on that? That shit been that shit been there since when I was younger. Like it's just a part of it. It's like I guess it's like a. You know, like it's a part of Houston. It's you fuck with the Philly. land? No, I don't really fuck with drink. I just don't understand how it's it like, stayed you know, in this Philly. Is, this is where this is where I didn't know I didn't know people mixed they lean until I start traveling. I so they was really drinking. Oh, raw. straight. Y'all was raw. So I never seen. You know, when they used to talk about uh, Easter pink sprites, I really okay. thought it was a sprite that. That's a new flavor Sprite put out. I was in the doing? store looking for him. You thought it was a new <laughs> flavor. No, nah, nah, listen, no, I'm good. No, nah, listen. You're out of control. No, nah, listen. I'm good. I'm good, guys. On, this, it it uh, ain't really my So I'm slack. like, uh, yeah, I'm take like, shot, I'm like, uh, oh, shit, you disrespect. Yeah. I'm like, yo, <laughs> yeah, y'all got that new pink Sprite? They're like, what? I'm like, it's yeah. a pink Sprite. <laughs> yeah. Y'all got that? Yeah. They like, man, let me know. Fuck you talking about, bro. Right. So yeah. I start trying. I see nigga pouring his man, drink man, man. in the in soda. Just I mean, so pouring, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, what you doing? You about to waste that. Yeah. Like, I never even knew, like, it'd go together. So that shit really was, like, around Philly for, off the rip. Nah, for real, since a kid, man. So when That's Beans crazy. dropped that song, that was regular. Drink. I used to see them niggas drinking straight. You used to drink your drink straight, boop. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, all day niggas go buy the two ounces and ounces in the bottles, and niggas be drinking them all day. Had they drink? Oh, Melly been drinking since he probably was like. So when when um, what's them 15, niggas? 15, 14. That's Three Six Mafia dropped sipping on a scissor. Y'all knew exactly what time it was. Y'all yeah, knew what it yeah, was. That shit was already. <coughs> Okay. You know what I'm saying? Straight lean though. Straight lean and pale. Straight lean. No, no, no Sprite. No, no Tahitian no, treat. No, none of that, none of that shit. shit. I've never seen that shit before. All this infusion, like somehow Philly is unique in this way, in a bad way or good mm. way, whatever. But really, obviously, we see the detriment of it at this point, right? Yeah. That shit is rough. That shit takes a toll on your body, right? Yeah, for sure. So it's like, at this point, I don't understand how Philly was so unique with with these drugs like like coming from Syracuse where we come from we I'm thinking lean is like a down south thing until mm -hmm. I hear like beans rap about it mm -hmm. and and these things and I just really feel like that shit like you we was when mm -hmm. we was off camera we was talking about syrup and pancakes right mm -hmm. and for the listeners that's that's what drinking lean and popping some type of pill right right so I feel like that shit kind of was a gateway for the pills heavy yeah yeah, people in Philly been popping perks, man. Zans and perks. That shit been going on for for years and years, like since before I was born. That's crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that been a drug of choice. Up I there. heard. I heard you saying. I heard you saying a nigga pop, or tell you he pop eleven pills at once. Eleven Zans. I seen a nigga pop eleven Zans. Why eleven Zans? Did you ever Zans? see him again? Why eleven <laughs> Zans? <laughs> Yeah. Did he die? That was a shot. No, he, he continued on. He, he said what? that was a light day for him. What the most he said? Are he not popped. vitamins, B. Yeah. He up in the 20s or early 30s, man. <laughs> Pills at once. Nah, Why, yeah. though? I mean, uh, he was getting high. That's what he wanted to do. Fuck it. Yeah. But no, I'm just saying that been a part of that. Yo, could you, see, could you see the toll that was taken on your neighborhood, though? Um, Yeah, because it it makes everybody more aggressive. Like, you know what I'm saying? But... You know, it's like, it's like, uh, you can't really, you can't really tell, oh, for real, for real. Because, In the moment. Because, yeah, because so much shit be going on anyway, like, right. you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you can't Certain drugs anyway. you can tell, though. certain drugs just stand out crazy. Yeah, like, you, you got people stealing, but the people that's doing the, the, the that is the dealers. So these are niggas who will be having shootouts anyway. Like so, I don't, I'm, I don't know if I can say yeah, it's because of the, the drugs right, so or a nigga probably me, really disrespected him. Let me ask you a real question. It's kind of a fast forward question, mm -hmm. right? When all the all your wildest like dreams come true, y'all mm -hmm. escape. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, like you said something earlier that fucked me up. When we have fast forwarded to all this rap beef shit. And, um, you know, you're so important because you got insight, uh -huh. real insight. And you've been in situations that 
a lot of people will never get to, bro, on some real shit. Uh-huh. And, like, y'all took certain habits, certain mentalities with y'all. Uh-huh. And I know it's been moments where, like, you could be in fucking Beverly Hills or wherever the fuck this rap shit took you, right? Yeah. But y'all still Phillying it out. Like, y'all making everywhere y'all go Philly. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. And how, what is that like? Like, like, do you think that's a detriment or do you think that's what sets y'all apart from everybody that comes around you? When you say making everything, we are... Everywhere we at Philly, like what you mean? Is that like y'all being I mean, y'all, like like we bringing the hood to L.A. We yeah. bringing the hood to Beverly Hills, not L.A. because L.A. is yeah. the hood. Yeah. But like like we just being us, like like and sometimes that fuck the 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 game up because sometimes y'all be like, all oh, these fake niggas around us, where the real exactly. niggas at? Oh yeah, nah, you know nah, what I'm saying? Nah. Yeah, I mean that's what make people fuck with us, man. You know what I'm saying? saying? People like y'all who, regular. Yeah, people like who they can identify with. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, also though. Understand that that's your strength because a lot of these rappers or whoever, when y'all hit this other tax bracket, when y'all reach these these other levels, like they don't know. They might yeah. talk like they know, yeah. but they don't know. Yeah. And now they around y'all, and it's just a whole different vibe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And you experiencing it too. I'm sure, like. Like, we done met people who we might have looked up to, mm-hmm. and then we like, damn, this shit it's ain't so they not who the fuck they nah, say nah, it. No, nah, no, nah, you, uh, you definitely experienced that, especially with, you know, some rappers that you might uh, like, you know what I'm saying? You meet them, you be like, man, this nigga, you know what I'm saying? I, I would have rather remained a fan. Word. You know what I, mean? I wish you know I never saying? met this you know one. Word. And I hope I never, I, I hope I never had that effect on anybody, you know what I'm saying, where... You know, it's like, you know what I mean? Like, man, this nigga got a nut, man. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully when we kick it, you can take something from me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'll leave you with something. Like right. some game or something. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Because you, you might catch me, man. I might be out here just, you know, regular. No drills on, nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? But if I can leave you with There's some no game. There's no watch day to day, man. Right. You know That's what, what we doing, man. If I can leave you with some game. We on the corner. And, you, yeah. and something that you could take from me to know that I was solid. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm right. good with that. You know what I'm hey, saying? Listen, I try to leave people with One that. thing I do want to talk about is some people think, people see you at Melly, whatever, whoever. Yeah. Um, They think motherfuckers is entourage, is hangers on. I don't mm. talk to you about business shit you trying to do, yeah. conversations you had with certain executives and so on and so forth. What yeah. part do you play Explain that part on on the shit you trying to have cracking on your end, because people think like this is a drug dealer's dream. This is taking this is taking nothing and making oh, something like yeah. you real live an executive in this shit, and that and that's yeah. what I want to touch on because people see top two one five and and you be with Meek and so on and yeah. so forth. But explain the shit you trying to do and the, and the conversation you done had, whether you can give the full disclosure of conversation you done had, but tell me the people you don't you don't link with and you don't have real live G with that 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 you can show that the moves you trying to make on your end. I mean shit, man. I got relationships with everybody. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> whatever, but what we doing, man, you know, we just trying to build we trying to build, you know, dream chases up to, you know, Rockefeller status. Right. You know what I'm saying? So would yeah. you be president? That's, would you be A and R? That's my mission, man. You okay. know what I'm saying. So, I would probably, you know, take on more like, you know, like the president A and R type shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Because I'm just in the music role, but you know what I'm saying. That's it. That's the that's the main focus, man. Building our brand up. You know, of course, I got Barcelona. That's a clothing line. You know what I'm don't doing? just say of course. I don't want you to under. I don't want you to underdo it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying a lot of niggas like, like Barcelona. Like, yeah, nah, tell nah, them, nah, tell nah, them nah, where to get it. And I ain't got my shirt it. shirt nah, yet, nah, cause nah, definitely we got Barcelona. Okay. It's like Let's a, go. you know, it's like a lifestyle brand. You know what I'm saying? That's a nickname of mine, man. I got just from bossing up. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it, and it. Did you make up that word? Yeah, you know, yeah. Okay. You know, Meek made that up. I can't, I don't even remember if it was Meek. Somebody from the squad, Somebody, man. Barcelona. You know what I'm saying? Because they gave me talk bar. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, 
I always tuck my shirt, my napkin in my shirt because I'm a messy eater when we at restaurants. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm bound to get something on my shirt. Okay. So they be like, man, this nigga watched too many mob movies. Are you movies. Muslim? Yeah, for sure. Your pops is Muslim? No, my pop ain't Muslim. My okay. pop is Christian. Where did, where did you, you get the saying? Muslim religion? This is in the streets of Philly, man. Nah, we got we to gotta that, touch on that. No, later. that's why I touched on that. Yeah. Philly is hus- heavy Muslim. For sure. For what sure, makes sure. Philly, What what did you get the history of that? Philly wow. niggas big beards, yeah. niggas no, is Sunni out. It was. I was locked up with mad Muslims. It was na- from it was, Philly. It was a nation of Islam at first. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was a nation of Islam at first. So you know, they came there and they brought, uh, you know, uh, I want to say you know they formed Islam to uh, to Philly, and then you know it, it kind of just spread. Then you know, you know that was the '60s and. 70s and things like that, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And then it went to, you know, the Sunni Muslims, you know, they start, you know your what I'm saying? Your pop's Christian was your mom's Muslim? Nah, I don't know. You just, Muslim, you just became Muslim. Yeah, you somehow know, I got cousins, it's, some, somehow cousins it's tied to Muslim, some street shit, though. Homies that's Muslim. It's not really tied, you know, it's, it's a lot of black guys, so, you know, it's a lot of black people that's Muslim. In, in the in the inner city, so you know, I of remember. Of course, it's going. A lot of them going to be criminals. The, but you know what I'm saying? It's a lot. Of, it's a lot of criminals that's Christian up that drink Of course, too. of course. You know what I'm saying? I remember the first time I went to uh, King of Prussia Mall, right? Yeah. I went to the King Gucci store and shit, and I'm seeing like real Muslim shit, like oh, for sure. motherfuckers dressed like for real, for real, yeah. buying loafs, like. And I never seen that shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, yeah that shit was different. Yeah, yeah, pressure right. Mall, South Street. What's that um, Jersey store? Terry L. Oh, Mitchell Mitchell Ness. Total Sport. Total oh, Sport. Total. Total oh, sp- they closed down. Yeah, but that's when I was going to Philly. Yeah, yeah. Total, Total Sport, Sport South, South Street. Street. Yeah. Good. <coughs> King of Pressure Mall. Yeah. Uh, Broad Street down by the clock. I used to yeah. have a joint down there. Yeah. And I, that's when I used to be out in Philly. You know what I'm saying? Philly was definitely wild. Philly remind me of the Q's. Like, like, Just like, like, bigger. it was, it was bigger. Like- it was wild. Motherfuckers was on straight bullshit. <laughs> yeah, it's super yeah. fast. But you like, go to King of Prussia Mall, it's like yeah. fake suburb. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? You go to the, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's big money. Out. Yeah. Right. Right. I you always felt that? like Philly had like an underdog, like slept on men- mentality though. Like, because I used to go to Max's. People don't, don't go to Geno's. Go to Max. So. You don't think so? No, we think we the illest. Or some okay. real shit. We think okay. we the illest and we just think like everywhere else overrated. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nah, real shit. Yeah, hey, what? nah, I like to hear that, though. <laughs> nah, that's nah, what I like I'm talking about. Because we, we talking to a Philly yeah, nigga. We never had because, the underdog Come on, mentality. cuz. Because part, no, of, part of the reason... The niggas ever. Because part of the reason is because that, like, we got to shed light. Like, we done had guests from Detroit. You know, these are these are cities that may yeah. not get the exposure nah, that listen, a New York or LA listen, get. I'm, you got to let you got to let them know because yeah. people nah. watching they never been to nah, Philly. Nah, because I'm gonna keep it a bug. Yeah. Cuse niggas feel like that. Definitely. We feel like we the illest. Definitely. Yeah. We the smallest motherfuckers on the planet. Yeah. But we feel like everybody else is the wackest shit cuz we are popping nigga head off. Uh, right. But that but that don't mean shit. The, let me <laughs> let me let me let me let me say some real shit, right? Because like, 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 one thing about y'all and, and, and you know, Philly. See, hold on. You know what it is with us, though? What's up? We respect it, and we know it. Like, you know what I'm you saying? You know so that what? That other that they look at y'all like that? That they, Philly's yeah, respected. Yeah, because I don't care where you go, where you been at. Like, they know Philly. They know we get busy over there. Right. So right. we kind of, we respect it. So it's like, right, right, we don't right. really, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just, that's how we feel. Like, everybody know what we get into over okay. here. Okay. So. Okay. Right. We don't ever feel like the underdogs. All right. All right. Now, All right. one thing I want to say, me caught in a new case, right? Yeah. He didn't even catch a new case. No. This shit is some no. bullshit. No. Yeah, this Right? Yeah. Now, 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 before I even get into the case, how are all the dream chasers? Like, 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 everybody's still cool. Nobody ain't panicking. Oh, no, you can't panic. No, you can't gotta panic. You. I want That's to good, though, because you see so many crews fall apart in this rap shit, like money, you know, more money, more problems. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It seemed cool. like y'all got a good, from the outside looking at y'all got a good nah, time. Is it exposing some niggas who jump and ship though? Like we keeping it a buck. I mean, like, like none, the niggas. None, none of our Instagram <coughs> niggas jump and ship, you know what I'm saying? It been exposed niggas jump ship. We got many lessons. Can I, can I, can yeah, I, can I talk lessons. and you keep it a buck or you say you don't want to fuck with it? What happened <laughs> with Louis V? 
Um, well, he got robbed, man. But, but that doesn't mean he ain't cruel because he got robbed. Man, he didn't get he caught got, slipping. He got, he got robbed. Yeah, definitely. He got robbed. And, uh, damn, man, I really can't remember what really happened with that. <laughs> he got robbed, and I just know he ain't crew no more. You know what I'm saying? But I see he looking like he looking good online. He yeah. Look like he doing good in Philly. Is Philly I'm fucking cool. with him? I mean, they listen to his music? I mean, uh, shit, he doing his thing, man. You know okay. what I'm saying? He doing wow. his thing, man. He, that was so long ago. He, he kept it pushing. He doing him. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know what I mean? I, I like look, to throw niggas let me names out to a dream. AR Ab. Dream when okay. Meek hey, said fuck hey, AR Ab, yeah. was not saying Meek your cousin. I'm not yeah. saying you going against him. Yeah. Did you fuck with AR Ab prior? I never met AR Ab. I mean, I met AR Ab once. Um, Dark Low? Pri prior to that. Dark I Low? I never met him. Okay. I mean, I like Dog Low music. I like Dog Low music. I know you like Dog Low you know yeah, music. Yeah, I like his music. He got good music. It, yeah, everything I, cool now, though. Yeah, I didn't have no relationship with them at the time. Like, you know, I had this money once. You know okay. what I'm saying? Let me so, ask you. Oh, I, don't, I had never met him okay. like that. Let me ask you a Dream qu Chasers question. Okay. I like O'Malley music. For sure. I don't know why he doesn't put out more music. He <laughs> did something with the engineer. Ooh. Whoever y'all record with, I don't know, right? Yeah. His one pain with his verse voice. was hard. It was yeah. very hard, but was definitely he did hard. the same thing. O'Malley, oh, your war pain on, verse was hard. On that verse that he does on his joints, he, he dropped... <laughs> y'all got to <laughs> Yeah, he did the same thing. He dropped the diss track over the back-to-back uh, -back beat, right? Yeah. Whatever the fuck. He puts this effect on his voice, right? It's mm -hmm. this crazy, like, horror movie effect. You know exactly yeah, what I'm talking yeah. about. Shout out to P.I. He know, he know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, he know what I'm talking about. Yo, the shit is crazy. And yo, man. I was waiting. Like, Make sure y'all go to Philly, y'all book P.I., man. See? P.I. I told you I brought some, shit, some Philly shit out. Yeah. See? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, Has whatever they do slash. to his voice, right? Yeah. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yo. Make more music, bro. Like from a from an outside of the. He just name. signed a deal with Empire. I he fuck did. with O'Malley. Mm -hmm. Make more I music. I respect O'Malley's hustle. Mm -hmm. The fact yo. that he just ain't an extra nigga. I be seeing him hustle yo, super fast. That music, yo, the music is quality music, mm -hmm. man. Make more music. Dude, that shit that he do, that your engineer do with his yeah. voice. Yeah. That's, that's a brand. Yeah. That's that engineer. shit is a staple. Yeah. Like they need. To and he used to be a rapper, so he knows about yes. engineering. Yes, that's why I pick up on shit mm -hmm. like that, yo. Yeah. I'm telling Pretty you, privilege, that man. shit is real, yo. So why doesn't he make more music? Yo, because for real, when, when all the little beef started happening, yeah. I said, this is time for O'Melly to murder shit. Yeah. He made a couple joints, but he ain't go super hard. I don't like to put out projects. He more of a... He put out projects. He get a project out, but... All right, well, I'm know, waiting for I'm waiting for the next project. He just dropped something not too long ago. It ain't making enough noise Come to, for, to yeah, make me yeah, hear yeah. it. He just ain't, yeah, I'm going to go look for it, though, on the strength of the interview. But he got he to gotta, uh, gotta put out more songs, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, then Empire need, need to push it. that shit harder. You know what I'm saying? He just Word. Need to Empire need to step up. Yeah. Right. They will if you got to make them. Listen. You got to make them. Listen. You tired of CEO oh. being all in your videos. <laughs> Come to drug dealers. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga lit. Yeah. I'm lit. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm lit. Yeah. Facts. I'm yeah. lit. Don't mind me. Yo, but Facts. nah, for real. Um, is there any other people out of Dream Chasers that's coming up that we need to know about? Like as far as rap music? Yeah, yeah, Hold on. Yeah. Let me stop you. Why? Lil Snoop. Mm. Yeah, Snoop. Mm. Lil Snoop was nice. R.I.P. R.I.P. Yeah, sure. R.I.P. Lil Snoop. R.I.P. Snoop, man. R.I.P. Lil Snoop. Snoop. Lil Snoop. Lil Snoop was nice, bro. He was special. Like, like, like. How did y'all like, find him? Uh, he found us. Where? Uh, how? Break it down. Uh, he had a show. He had a show in um, Louisiana. He came and gave his demo up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, real. Lil Listen Snoop would him. be a nigga. I, I watched this shit the other day. Not yeah. knowing we was having talk on the show, Lil Snoop was that nice. Like, they was having a freestyle on um, Cosmic Cash. Mm -hmm. Had a sweet freestyle on Sway. I watched all of them. He rapping. Meek was like, talk about the bitches. In the middle of his rap, he'll mm -hmm. switch up his whole flow. I got the bitches. Mm -hmm. Hit it like a little, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. spitting. Yeah. Lil Snoop 18, bro. I remember mm -hmm. he had the. The $10,000 battle. Yeah. Who the fuck he battled? 
I remember that too. Forget the animal. He was on a pool table in Philly somewhere. I remember that too. Like the young boy. He crushed that nigga, bro. No, shout out the young boy though. You know what I'm saying? I don't remember his name, and I probably never remember his name until I watch the YouTube again. <laughs> he wasn't that he was trash. He was rapping verses from like songs, whoever yeah. the nigga was. His verses was nice. Yeah. Right. But Lil Snoop going off the dome talking about his clothes, his da 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 da. Lil Snoop was shit. nice, bro. Damn. For sure, for sure. What's the nigga name? Deshaun. What's the nigga? Deshaun yeah, Jackson. Deshaun Jackson, Deshaun Jackson yeah. artist. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. The nigga was yeah. nice. Shout out to you. Lil Snoop was just going off the top MCU. with that shit. It wasn't no. It's yeah. hard for you to Ain't freestyle, no bro. Yeah. Freestyle is different. Yeah, people go on yeah, flex and freestyle. That's not a freestyle. Freestyle is top of the dome. That's the difference. All right, but this shit is real. I gotta ask you this, right? All right, let's go. Y'all Philly to the core, right? Y'all real yeah. Philly. I know it's a million dudes from Meek's hood, from your hood, that want Meek to put them on. I yeah. already know. Yeah. Um, but he puts Snoop on. Snoop's from what? Louisiana. Louisiana. Yeah. I know y'all got some backlash, like, damn, why didn't you put me on? None? Nah, why well, don't get, no, well, Listen, get no backlash? Listen, I'm man. sorry to cut you off. Nah, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Lil Snoop has star quality. Yeah. yeah. Like, 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 <laughs> he was real live. He would have, you know, when he, he dropped the single Fact. with Nate Dogg? Nobody. Like, nobody. Come on, bro. Yeah, Lil but, Snoop was that nigga, bro. Yeah, but yo, like, it's like, a like, lot of people in listen, Philly that think that they're listen, that guy. Mad yeah, niggas in Philly is we, nice. We ain't getting no backlash, man. It's business. You can't tell us how to run our yeah, business. Yeah. Okay. Backlash from it, what? And the reason why you can't man. get backlash is because when I was up and coming, you wasn't fucking with me. Man. Like, real mm. life facts. Like, yeah, we tell that to niggas no now. Ain't no fire from Philly. Put us on. Yeah. Word. Somebody Fuck came man. from Miami. Put us on. Yeah. Somebody came from Atlanta they, first. They, trying to put you on somebody yeah. from Miami. How did that happen? Dade County. How did Listen, that happen? No, no, no. And let me say that, too. Go ahead. Go ahead. I seen you with Rose recently. Yeah, that's my Ross, man. shout out to Ross. Like, 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 Ross seemed like he down for the team, bro. That's my dog. He like, 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 like through all the bullshit, he ain't caring. Everybody can care about their bag. Yeah. But it seemed like Ross fuck with y'all. He fuck with me. Man, Ross, like, they a boss, for real, in real life. You know what do you, saying? So, can you recall how that situation happened? Shout like, out to Rick Ross. Do you remember man. how that happened? Yeah, I remember how that happened. What, how we get with Rose? Yeah, because yeah. that had to be a um, real moment. Rose in the city. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And Was it from know, the Rose Red, Diamonds and Blue? Yeah, so you know, he going to the radio, you know what I'm saying? See Cosmic Cavs, shout out to Cosmic Cavs again. You know, he acts like, uh, I want to say he asked who was the hottest nigga in Philly or somebody, or, 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 or did he say it or Meek said it? Mm-hmm. Somehow the whole Philly got to retweet and, retweet and Rose. I remember okay. Rose, like, like, I remember Meek said, you need to jump on this remix. Yeah, yo, you need or to Cosmic fuck, Cavs said you need, you need to, to jump fuck on. with Meek Mill. Oh, yeah, okay. that's where I say you need to fuck with the remix. Okay. You need to fuck with Meek. So the whole city tweeting Rose like, you need to fuck with me. Yeah, me, yeah, me. yeah, Boom. yeah. The yeah. city put on for us. So at that point, though, the city was really, really city behind y'all. On. So y'all went from mixtapes to like the wave was crazy. Hold up. Did he have, me. did Meek had did that movie yet? Streets? Yeah. I think Streets was in motion. Okay. Yeah, you okay. know what I'm saying? So you need to fuck with me. You need to fuck with me. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And Meek came. Boom. Meek Are you putting the work down, bro, at that point? Uh-huh. Are you, is the dream real? Are you putting the work down? The money ain't grinding. coming in. Are you serious? The nigga still getting it in. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Listen, That's what listen, I want him to I'm say. Tell you what. Why are you talking me, for him? Nah, I want him to say that. When I first heard Meek, I ain't gonna lie. Where was that? Nah, nah, nah. Oh, eight, oh, nine. Oh, nine. I heard him on satellite radio. Freestyle. Nigga, that was, it's 2018. That was nine years ago. Yeah. I was on, it was Meek was on Sirius Satellite Radio. I had an S five fifty. Let's let's talk about it. It was 08. I had the o- it was oh nine. I had the oh eight. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. 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 Check check the resume. Yeah. Yeah. I'm listening yeah. to Sirius Satellite Radio. But who the fuck is this nigga? He killing every beat. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And and yeah. I'm like, I want I'm people like, to damn. understand how close how 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 it is. Like when when you when you making it, but you not making it. Nah, that's yeah, what I want nah, people listen. to understand. People think we making it. Nah, like like we got we got this podcast. Y'all see this professional motherfucking uh, uh, setup we got? 
But we doing this shit for the culture. And sometimes you're doing it for the oh, culture, listen. hoping you make it. When? We hope we make it. Yeah, but, 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 but at the end of the day, we yeah, spending our we, money. <laughs> he was spending his money in the <laughs> studio. No, listen, Niggas no. is getting it in. Let's listen. go. So, you know, I wasn't spending my bread in the studio. But Whatever. at this point, when he, uh, when he, uh, when he get on, um, was it different than the T.I. get on? Did y'all know it was different? Yeah, I mean, the T.I. get on ain't work out because Tip went to jail. It right. was like, you know what I'm saying? Meek went to jail, then Tip went to jail. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was just like... But y'all, did y'all think y'all was getting on at that point? I mean, yeah, you know, we thought we was going to get on with Tip, but it just it just didn't work out. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? And so, you know, when we start fucking with Rosé, uh, it's lit, man. Let's, you know... Let's turn up. You know I remember that I'm the boss. I remember y'all did two videos. Now listen, I'm a boss. Happy. I remember being in the studio and Meek like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get Ross to say, you know what I'm saying? Huh? Yeah, exactly <laughs> what he yeah. said. I'm gonna get Ross to say that. That hunk shit that he be saying okay. right there. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get him to do that. Yeah. I'm gonna get I remember that shit stick out. Yeah, he putting it together. Yeah. I'm gonna get Ross to come behind me. Like, I'm a boss. I'm yeah. a boss. I'm gonna have him come behind me like That's that. That's crazy. Like, he putting that shit together. He like, yeah, this shit gonna be fire. That's you crazy. know what I'm saying? We in the studio. And we still wild, man. You know what I'm saying? We in the yeah, studio. Yeah, yeah, It's a hundred of us in this joint. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he talk just, about that he, session. He rocking. That's a classic session what? because... Because you don't know it's a hit yet. That's a street uh, anthem they uh, play now. Uh, uh, to this day. Yeah. That's the special thing about me and, and Dream Chasers is y'all making, damn, this shit so real. Did you think Ross no, had many Did you think Ross had so many shades he thought he had a lady? Yeah. 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 Did you, you think no, Ross had so stop. many shades you thought he had a lazy eye? Nah, see, that like, question is <laughs> whack. That question is whack. <laughs> Yo, listen. What you saying is, remember we was talking about the microwave era and we Man. came up during legendary music. Right, right. Like, I think Meek's the only artist, Dream Chase is the only camp probably that's making legendary street music right now. No. Nah. Like, 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 you know what fucks me up? As a fan of the game, yo, get y'all Henny, bro. As a fan of the game, we got another podcast to do tomorrow. You got to stop putting uh-huh. me Henny. Come on, man. Right? I, I still got a full. So man. you do not have a full cup, yeah. All right. What I'm saying is, Meek's intro, yo. I don't know when that shit's gonna die. It's, it's never, it's gonna, never die. gonna die. Like it's I'm a boss, it's never gonna die. Like it's timeless music. Like right. Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying is, when you're making this music, right? Mm-hmm. Do you even understand, like? You hear it, you like, yo, this shit's hot. Like you said, 100 motherfuckers in the studio, I'm sure y'all going crazy, right? Yeah. But do you even understand, like, this shit is legendary music? Nah, yeah, when you hear it, it's just like, damn, that's a banger. You just that's like, damn, shit in the studio, my like, cousin shining. Yo, play that shit. Yeah, again that and, again yeah. and again and yeah, again and again. Yeah, damn, this is a banger. Like, yeah, okay. this is the one. Let me, let me uh, you know give you an ill analogy. We was talking about this off camera. We in Atlanta. I just I was by the Clark AUC, the Atlanta University Center. Saw a picture of um, Colin Kaepernick a few months ago. They had him painted on the side of a building. Right. Big Afro. He had Atlanta uniform, Atlanta Falcons uniform. The illest part about that is, is a lot of times we talk about Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, whoever. When you're living in the time, you don't know you're living through history. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. Colin Kaepernick is our modern day Martin Luther King or Jesse Jackson, whoever mm. who you want to say. Right now you'd be like, yeah, it was, you know, he stood for something. Right, right. But right. later when they teaching the kids this 10 mm. and 20 years from now mm. that he stood for something, we didn't respect it as much. Mm. Meek is that. You know what I'm saying? He's he's the people's champ. Like, like, like the same way you you was in the studio and listened to the intro, mm. that was a hard joint. But the fact that he in the can, he going through what he going yeah, through, see, they play his shit nonstop. Through the Drake shit, through all of that, that's a classic song. But 20 years from now, that's going to be our fucking Big Papa. Oh, wow. Like that they play now right. or yeah, or when right. they play the New York set and they say, G-Unit, what? We yeah, in here. Yeah, uh, yeah. B- that was that's us. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and yeah. sometimes you gotta pay respect to the niggas during the time. I think as they say, Nori say it all the time on Drink Champ, shout out our affiliate. He say we like to give niggas the flowers while they could still smell them. Yeah. That's what we like to do. Like, like, like you gotta respect that. Yeah. That that he making something for us for now. 
You know what I'm saying? That's that's some real shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, really it's, sure. it's, 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 he made some shit during our time, during our genre, during whatever. Like, like, like people used to talk about rock and roll and the Beatles, oh. like Jay Z, Nas, Meek. Bruh. Demar Beatles, bro. You know what I'm saying? And and you gotta respect and, that shit. And the shit is even deeper because I think it's unfair. And like I like I always say, like we privileged to have you here, bro. You got an inside, you know, view on things because you live it. But I'm from the outside looking in. I always thought it was an unfair responsibility put on Meek in his generation because the music that we grew up off that we talked about prior on this interview, um, I feel like somehow Meek looked around and he was the only one. <clears throat> like, who represented us? He yeah, was like the exactly. last of us. So it was who like, was... you in this, all of a sudden you in this craft that was honed in the streets. Like, hip hop's supposed to be the voice of the streets. Uh -huh. That's what it's supposed to be. But then all of a sudden you get in this situation, in this musical situation where, like you said, y'all was looking at Ether and Takeover and like, yeah, we got time. Uh -huh. But y'all in a new era where like people that not from where we yes. from run it. Yes. Yeah. You was and, last of the microwave. Yeah. You was in between the real niggas and the yeah. microwave era. And right. it was like it was unfair <coughs> because all the all the fans of street music or people from the street or whatever, everybody waiting for me. Like, yo, I remember I'm at the age where when I'm niggas not, is like I'm not tuning into the fuck about. shit, right? I'm not tuning into the fuck shit. I remember listening to Funk Flex that night on my phone. I remember Googling shit. Why didn't yeah. Funk Flex have right? the diss track? I remember Googling shit and waiting <laughs> Why all didn't night Funk Flex on Funk Flex. Flex. I don't think it was like, yo. Huh? And, and it just never don't happened. Even diss track yet, I don't okay. even think. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But either way, it just never happened. And and it was I'm almost a sign of the times, bro. Like 30 minutes, man. Okay. It was a sign of the times, yeah. though. It was like, and the way you explaining it gives me so much insight because I'm like, damn, y'all was thinking the same way I was thinking. Yeah, it was like, fuck you, man. I'm not about to jump on right, this give shit. Me a second. Like, yeah, like, like what the fuck? Here, there, I'm yeah, right. Like, I'm on Nikki tour. Like, what the fuck about there? You know what I'm saying? But you know. But it, it was unfair pressure. But at the same time, you know, things happen for a reason, and resiliency is key. Like. Yeah, it's like, man, that shit was a that shit was necessary. I'm sorry to cut you off. No, no, no. That's exactly what I want you to do. It was necessary to happen, you know what I'm saying? To get us to this point, you know what I'm saying? And and we putting all that shit behind us, man. Word. You know, it showed all my dog be able to he be able to come out soon, man. Right now we just focusing on leveling up. Listen. <laughs> I used to see y'all in Miami. For sure. On yachts. Mm. For sure. On jet skis. Yeah. It's Miami Mondays. Listen. Not playing you on Entourage Flow. Yeah. But me, let me tell you what happened to me. My girl, forgive me. Everybody, forgive me. I went to, this is on a smaller scale. Mm. I'm not on y'all level. No. I'm just, I'm just hey. a hanger on. Hey. Listen. I went to Albany State in Georgia, homecoming. Okay. Yeah. Early 2000s. I don't know where this is going. Now, my dudes that's with me, Cloud9, shout out to Biddy, shout out to Apple, God bless the, bless the dad. He asked me to come to, um, they were throwing Albany State homecoming. It's TI, it's 3 6 Mafia, it's Baby D, it's, it's, it's old Atlanta. Okay. I'm in the after party. Chick asked me if I'm T.I. Doesn't really know. What I'm light skinned. Oh, yeah. I'm slim. Yeah. Popping because I'm T.I. So I get the feeling that I'm it I'm part of this rush. circle. You, you know what rush. I'm saying? So I see y'all in Miami. I yeah. see the yachts. I see the jet skis. Yeah. You get action because you're dream chasers. Yeah, for sure. So... What is that feeling like? Like, I don't care about the money. You get attributes. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that fact that you're using the situation. You are the situation. You, you're, you're part of the clique. You got a right. tattoo. Right. Like, it's not a game. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, what is that feeling like? That, that shit is still like, 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 I'm from the town. I'm from the Q's. Yeah. Tell it's me, certain A1 joints. That you, you that that you could rock with because you're part of a certain circle because mm -hmm. you getting money or whatever. Right. Yeah. Um, 
still doesn't be equivalent or equate when I come to Atlanta, it's a different action. It's Miami, yeah. it's a different action. Right. So some of these joints I look back when I was in high school with, I can't believe I fucked with. <laughs> Keep it a punk. <laughs> I can't believe you played me. Yeah. You out of control, you got fucked in. <laughs> So when you're in Miami, you get <laughs> yeah. these Cuban joints, these outlandish joints. Matter of fact, let me not even say that. Your entourage is getting the yeah. extra niggas. Because I know you dedicated to your situation. Yeah, so we ain't going to do that. But what I'm saying, you see all the extra niggas in your clique that's popping. Like, 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 do you be like, damn, we got real, real, why we made it. You know what I'm saying? Or, 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 or people really think we superstars. How that shit it, work? It feel good, but you know, it's like, it's, I don't want to sound overconfident or no shit, but it's like, we been, we all solid dudes. We don't really have extra niggas. If you see niggas with us, that's niggas that's really getting money somewhere. Oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Regardless. And, yeah, and they, and they just came out to fuck with us. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? We just showing niggas another side because, you know, we made it over this side and not many make. And we all know it might, it might be solid niggas in the hood that's getting some money, but still won't experience the shit we gonna experience. Like to the level, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, uh, it's a good feeling when you see your niggas, you know what I'm saying? It's like we, we saying we, we getting the type of girls we should get anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, because it's only, it's lames and it's, and it's real niggas. And we feel like we solid. So. You know, if a girl, she attracted to, you know, solid niggas, then we gonna get them. Like, you know what I'm saying? We just put in a, a, board, a broader spectrum now to get okay. the, you know what I'm saying? To get to those type of girls. They giving us a shot now, whereas uh, we, nigga could have been solid. Yeah, but now man. we around these You're girls. You on a broader yeah, scale. Yeah, 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 to get that shot. Definitely. You get it's like, you know what I'm saying? What you want, what you want, Elaine? What, what, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> What you gonna do? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So like, it's kind of like, you know what I mean? For real. Like, just right. to just yeah. to bounce off that, right? It's just crazy because we sitting there chopping it up and only an hour or so ago, you know, you sharing the time with us where all the odds were stacked against y'all. Right. You know, you was in a position, you was in a situation. You catching gun Meek charges. Meek was in a situation. Meek people catching People passing charges. around y'all. Like, um, but then you talk about these Miami nights. I'm sure y'all spent nights out the country, all type of shit. Yeah. Right? Do y'all do you have those reflective moments where you like, damn, yo, like, we really here? All the time, all the time. Like, you know what I'm saying? And you, like, uh, you hear other rappers talking about it, and you can relate. Like, like when uh, Future say, I re I remember nights in Europe saying we ain't falling off. Like, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's real like, shit. I I really remember nights being in Paris and that's crazy. In, a, in a suite like. Tell them what it's damn, about. Oh, yeah, that was, yeah, that was shit. Going back. Now that I've been with you in apartments, cousin Quinn, shout out yeah, Quinn. Yeah. Me call you on a daily. Yeah. To this day. Yeah, facts. Now, 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 you talking about like, 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 it's different being with a nigga when you all up and you're just getting money every day. Yeah. You got to be with a nigga when he down. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and the illest part about it is, is niggas don't understand that. Like, like we talking about a drug dealer's dream. That don't mean you out here selling drugs. Like, no. we dreamed of this big shit. No. Right. We out here we out here living it. And you got to be with a motherfucker when the time is good, the time is bad. Right. Everybody good when we getting these millions and, yeah. and it's all good. I like... I, I done talked to you about you done making your way and figuring out this game yeah. to where you get industry checks right. and shit like that. When you having talks right. with made niggas, Dame Dash, right. Jay, OG oh, Wan, oh, regardless yeah. what the conversation said, but you making your way into figuring out what you want to do in right. this game. Like, like I tell a nigga all the time, I've been in the street with motherfuckers <clears throat> who getting millions. It ain't my job to, to be getting, to be in their position. It's my job to learn the game and figure out my way. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is I be I don't understand how a nigga could be around a nigga getting bread mm -hmm. and don't figure out a way of getting bread. Oh, yeah. You done been around niggas getting money. Whether he was your little man yeah. at any time, you got to use your situation. I, I've been with a nigga who was younger than me, who I was up 
over then, mm-hmm. but he end up turning up more than yeah, me. Yeah. But I'm still once he get in this oh, position, sure. it's not hate. It's yeah. it's figuring out my way in yeah. the situation. So how did you figure once Meek got on, like I right, I need to figure out my way or be A and R or be a, a CEO? How did that shit work? It just uh, I always knew what I wanted to do as far as music. I just never knew like you know it was gonna be this like we was gonna get in this way. Like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Which was what? Like, what you, you always know, wanted to do? As a kid, I always wanted to. I couldn't rap. So okay. I love music so much. I always wanted to be exact. Okay. Like you know, since so I was Study Puff, uh, Dame Dash, you know, Master P, you know, all these niggas. Like all you right. know, what I'm saying, Suge Knight. I'm with you. Everybody. Like you know, what I'm saying, cause shit, I can't rap, so I gotta be that nigga. But like, you knew you couldn't rap. Right. Some niggas yeah. don't know they can't rap. Oh yeah, no, I can't <laughs> rap. I gotta be this nigga. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's the nigga I want to be. I want to be the nigga getting the check. Right. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? With you knew the all them niggas was on, and it wasn't yeah, rapping. Yeah, them niggas was on. Like you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to be like them. Like you know what I'm saying? So when I got into this, like you know what I mean? Like, cause you know he put on and work to get us to this spot, and shit. It's like, all right, I just start putting together my pieces. Like I ain't know what I was gonna do exactly. I was a cameraman at first, like, you know what I'm saying? That's real shit. I'm active, you know what I'm saying? I got a, I probably got like a motherfucking Mac in a book bag with the camera. No, like, you know what I'm saying? A Mac 10, not a MacBook. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, a Mac 10. Like, you know what I'm saying? For real, like, you know what I'm saying? And I lost the camera, like, the first week. (laughs) He he bought his first big camera and spent a couple racks on his joint. Yeah. I lose that shit, like, the first three days, like, you know what I'm saying? That was the first time I got How fired. How did you lose the camera? That was the first time you got fired. Yeah, you fired the shit out of me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you lost the footage <laughs> and the lost camera. lost the camera. I left it in the backstage in our dressing room. Somebody stole it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Lost the camera like a wall. Yeah. You talking about the first, when was the next time you got, got fired? fired. You when was the saying? next time? Uh, I got fired a couple of times. I did, <laughs> I did merch. You know what I'm saying? I ain't get fired this time though. You know what I'm saying? It's just a lesson learned. I fucked up. Okay. So when we doing, we doing the merch on the road, you know, I'm not used to doing What kind of merch? What you got? Uh, we got, you know, this tour merch. You know, you know what like what Dream Chasers yeah, yeah. merch. Meek yeah, Mill you know, t-shirts. this is the Meek Mill merch before even Dream Chasers came out. It's our first tour. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying? I got to do the, it's paperwork that's involved with merch because yeah. you're going to these venues every night. I ain't doing no paperwork though. You know what I'm saying? I'm just fucking, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I'm collecting a check. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? As long as the paper check out, I'm just counting money. Yeah. I know how many shirts I got. Yeah. You know how much paper I'm supposed to have. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't do none of the paperwork. Warner Bros. mad as shit. <laughs> 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 Because they turn it, none of the paperwork. Like, I'm just like, the money straight, right? Yeah. Uh, the paper, right? The, the count, cool, right? Yeah. All right, then. Fuck y'all talking about. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some of these shirts we had is how much money we got. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So how was it dealing with the labels at that time, though? I like, mean, it was cool, man. You know, like, they uh, they made it easy, man. They helped us out, man. You know, the okay. transition, everybody being nice to you, you know. Well, you, got, you got a new hot star. So, you know what I'm saying? Well, you just getting game, but... You know what I'm saying? I, I really geared towards, you know, motherfuckers who was taking us in, you know, like Puff and, uh, you know, Puff showed us a lot of love, man. He showed me a lot of love. We kicked it together a lot. Uh, you know, Ho gave us a lot of game. Emery, you know what I'm saying? OG Wine, you know what I'm saying? Is there it's moment, older niggas, you know what I'm saying? There, is there like a, a moment that sticks out to you, like that you remember? <clears throat> no, like, let me stop. I'm sorry. Yeah. We don't talk about, you don't have to give there us no go, game. Bro. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Listen, because this is not even no game show, no secret society shit. You talk about the time where you, Hove, uh, OG1, and Meek was on the G4. Oh, that's, that's what I was about to say. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me say it. That was the time. I don't care. We talked about this off camera. I'm that family. was the time right there. Y'all yeah. was on the G5 together. Yeah. Y'all four. Yeah. And uh, Lenny S was there, so Lenny S, y'all five. Fuck yeah, it. yeah. Kodak, we what is it? Mr. Kodak, what's it? What's his um? Kodak I, Lens. Yeah. Kodak Lens. Apologize. Yeah, we, we was on the jet. We, we went off to Chicago. You know what I'm saying? They just gave us some game on that jet. You know what I'm saying? It, it was amazing to me. You know what I'm saying? Because we took the jet from New York and went to Chicago. Mm. We did a show. I never seen nobody shit set up like this. Like you know what I'm saying? It was Hove tour. Yeah, it's Hove tour. He mm. going to. Uh, he go in, he got like his favorite ice cream, 
and shit like when he walk in like favorite got, ice cream yeah he got like whatever the fuck he wants yeah. like, like it's like ice cream then he got this fucking popcorn shit that was in there you know Chicago famous <laughs> with the cheese and the caramel shit. popcorn yeah, so blend my mom just eat that shit man he said in the dressing he had like 30 pair of boots Man, he had some shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. The people backstage, the menu, what you want. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They bring you it's fresh different. shit. It's different. Fresh lunch meat, you know what I'm saying? Go over and make you a sandwich. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ace of Spade flowing. iPhone chargers everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> everywhere. Everywhere you Your sit. phone is not dying with hoes. Everywhere you, you sit. You got an Android, you're phone dead. Charger. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? My it was Android right or now. iPhone. They everywhere. We gotta step it up. Like, My phone dead right yeah, now. Like bro. you can't miss. We have like, no charges here. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like five people back yeah. there. Hove go on stage. He do his thing. You know what I'm saying? He come back. You know what I'm saying? We ate. We talked and shit. We talked regular. I mean, that's what I like about Hove. Like regular you could, t- you could tell he he just a, a regular dude from the streets that really made it. That's how yeah. he move and all that. You know what I'm saying? We was talking about the kids and the game, you know what I'm saying? We was back there with uh, one of the uh, owners of the Hyatt. His, his family owned the Hyatt Hotels and shit, you know what I'm saying? He bought the Global Express because he heard, heard Jay talking about it. Yeah. So he jet bought, shit. Yeah, his big ass jet. Like, Global like, Express, yeah, Boeing yeah, Jets. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So uh, that's the jet with the living room. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> so uh that was cool, you know what I'm saying? And that's one of my uh most memorable moments, you know what I'm saying? But, but like the same way you quote reasonable doubt in the beginning of the episode, you don't remember like a line that one of them dropped on you that stuck with you? Um that you can say. No, nah, I mean right now my my most memorable line cuz with Jay we talked about uh we really just talked about regular shit like you know what i'm saying like okay. um like we got kids around the same age like my daughter and his daughter so he was his his daughter had just had a party at the zoo we was talking about super re- so super regular like shit. super regular right, right, like yeah right, right. stuff that your kids right. saying like your three-year-old right. saying like yeah we was right. tripping out yeah. like we talked about regular stuff like you know what i'm okay. saying you know what i mean he he gave us some insight on the game and how to stay focused but it wasn't it wasn't nothing like, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. With this stand out is motherfucking when Beyonce called. That's what that's what I remember. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah, talk about I don't care who you is. Like, yeah. yeah. Niggas get like butterflies and Beyonce right, don't make right. you feel uncomfortable, like, you know what I'm saying? I remember going to a concert one time, I'm like telling um, I'm telling my girl, like, you know, Beyonce might be in here. Yeah. Don't lose it if you see it. Word. Like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Don't pat it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, sure enough, Beyonce was there. And so, my girl, cool. But I'm the one sweating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yo, I got butterflies and shit. Yeah, I'm like, it's never deep. happened. You know, Jay, my favorite rapper. Like, right. I mean, I'm like, Jay, this right. shit regular. I wasn't expecting right. this. But Beyonce. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, so she FaceTimed Jay, like, in the air and shit. You know what I'm saying? And. Me and Meek just looking like, oh shit. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? He's nah, just like, oh good. shit. Where you know y'all saying? at? We in the air. Now we coming back from the show. So what's crazy about Hov, like, if it's I guess if it's show anywhere in their home, he he's sleeping in the, that's what I that's what he said, man. In fact, I remember that. I said, damn, so you go home every night. Damn. But, uh if you got a show, you go sleep in your bed every night. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'd be home before people be out of traffic, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. As soon as the show over, boom, straight to the jet. That's crazy. You might eat or straight to the jet. Motherfuckers be still coming out the parking lot, man. That's real. For yeah, real. So I respect that. That's crazy. Like, For real. Just to, um, to hear, you know, to hear the beginning, South Philly to North Philly. Nah, for real, To man. the jet with the living room. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's um, a crazy journey, bro. You know what That's the illest part journey. about it is? Just how you talk about no disrespect from that. Like you said, Meek Mill used to be with mm-hmm. um, O'Malley or Piedmont or mm-hmm. whoever. But you and Meek was on that jet with, with OG Wan and, and Lenny S. Yeah, and, you know, that's like... Why Why is that? Like, like that's that's a... Like, like they always say real, recognize real and I mean, all I mean, the group you know, shit. You gotta understand, we cousins, so it's always a bond. Like, you know what I'm saying? We, we you know, 
everybody still got they 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 homies that they be with. You know, For him sure. and always cousins. Like you know what I'm saying. For sure. They closer cousins. Like you know what I'm For saying. Sure. So, you know, everybody got their squad. So really, with cousins, it's just on some. Who around that day type shit like mm-hmm. for real for real I'm I might I might have been with him for a week straight O'Malley being the hood strong like yeah. you know what I'm saying so it's like yeah well come on talk we out we ready to go with well, Hov like you know what I'm saying right yeah so that's all that be for sure um I remember you telling me you went to Juan office. Yeah, Juan got a crazy office, man. You told me, like, like we right now, we in a condo. Yeah. You told me his office was like two, three of these joints. Yeah, Just office. his office. His office definitely probably about two of these, for sure. Rock Nation shit. For sure, Rock Nation, for sure. So. Street dude. You know what, what type saying? of game is Juan giving you? <clears throat> Juan is a. What is uh, his history? Like, we talking about OG Juan. Hove just dropped a song. That 91... 81,000 just one bill. For real. Like, top off the Maybach. Like, 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 like. OG like, Juan, a rich OG. Rich you OG. You know what I'm saying? He run a rock uh, sports park. You know, he just a rich OG. He got 4040 Club, yeah. Baseline Studio. Yeah. Like, like, but he giving you game. Okay. And yeah. that's a real nigga shit for him, for you, hear him to see you on a come up, want to give you that game. Nah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to understand, they, they see, uh, you know, they seen this all the time, man. And, you know, and they was once us. This young dudes, you know, just from the hood, us on, and built something. They built the empire. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? So it's like, uh, that's why I fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? Because you, know, you don't feel uncomfortable when you're around them. Because uh, you they be yourself. y'all. Right, right. And, and, they, they, and, 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 and they really giving you game. They what really empowering you. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you go in that office, you see, like, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of... It's a lot of us in there, like you know what I'm saying. I respect a, that. A lot of black, a lot of people from his neighborhood, family, like you know what he I'm saying. He leave motherfuckers out. No, it's like the whole. He ain't be. He it ain't, ain't a corporate motherfucker he in there. He ain't lying when he say that. Now the whole projects is on my jets. Mm. He ain't lying, like you know what I'm saying. It's, they deep I in that you. office, so it's like you gotta I respect, respect that. that. Ty, Ty, yeah, just just being able to be around everybody. it and just. Just being able to be around it and getting the game from them dudes, man, and and seeing it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? The fact that you can soak that up, man, is, is, is a blessing. You know what I'm saying? So what's, what you think is next for Dream Chasers? Like, you, let, let me just, before you answer, right? I think Dream Chasers is very important, uh-huh. like, in the future of music, period. Because yeah. just like you said, the the dynasties before you, they mm-hmm. see themselves in y'all now, right? Right. And as many like, you got your head man, you got your superstar, you got me who's going through mm-hmm. these crazy situations, right? And it's mm-hmm. crazy how somebody on that level could still get pulled down by something that he left decades before. For sure. Right? So what happens next is so important because right. what happens next is inspiration for everybody. Right. You know, me obviously faced L's um, in real life, even though his life has expanded far right. beyond right. the streets of Philly. So it's like, but the fact that he could still be affected by it, it almost makes us root for him even more. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he could be at this level, but, and that's why I respected the last project so much. Like when he did them short movies in the bluff and all that right. shit, I just felt like he was getting so in tune with his craft, like right. all that other bullshit was over and, and he could just focus on being a gifted dude. Right. Like, and now you got, you know, like the biggest record out, Cali goes get Jay, he goes get Beyonce, you know, they all dropping meat lines and all that shit, free meat. And it's like, when he comes home, I know y'all got to be super optimistic about what Dream Chase is about to do. Nah, you about to get that sure. bag, nah. bro. Nah, Fuck nah, you, man. For, for sure, for sure. You about to uh, get that bag. That's all we talk about is plays on the phone. You know, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. when we come home, like, you know what I'm saying? We was, we was in the process of running it up before he went in. Of course. Like, of course. So when we come home, and you know, we just want to do our thing. But for the most part, man, we just try to make our shit tighter. You right. know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? A, a guy told us in Dubai, man, you know, never worry about money, man. Just only worry about the work. When you're putting in the work, the money going to come. Well, that you know shit in Dubai. You know I ain't never been to Dubai. Yeah, this nigga just, had, uh, uh, we was on this boat. 
He's on a yacht. And he paid thirty six million for this boat. He said he had four of them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's like I never worry about money. He only worry about work. So you know, <clears throat> we just want to tighten up, man. Cause I used to tell niggas that all the time. We, 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 <laughs> we came, we got this far from work. Yeah. You know but, what I'm saying? We we ain't had no money. No money ain't no money get us. And here. that's crazy. In the beginning, you said you know what I'm saying? Me, yeah. I worked everybody. Ain't no money get us here. Work got right. him here. Right. Yeah, right. work got him here. And, you know what I'm saying? No, Which put and, us no, and you, yeah. you know, when oh. when those tragedies happen in your family, you yeah. got to work. Yeah, we gotta go to work, man. You know when Meek went to the can, you still met with Dame and other niggas because yeah, you working. Nah, yeah, that's that's what niggas don't understand. I want you to touch on that because yeah. you were still getting it in. Like like just because the head of your team get get hit, that don't mean you stop working. Some nah, niggas, some niggas, that shit happened to, and they blame the nigga. Like, oh, he in the can, he ain't helping me. No, nigga, uh, like I'm in position. Work. Let me work. You yeah, know what the saying? opportunity is all you need, man. Once you get in these doors, it's, it's really up to you how yeah. far you can go. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can really turn it up, man. You can make millions. I'm talking about millions. Nah, I know sure. petty cash. I'm talking about millions, man. So when you transition to this shit, man, you see people making motherfucking 30000 from sitting in lunch for 20 minutes right. over a solid. And it's a, it's, it'll be wired to your account before you get your car from Valet. You know one of the cool, illest man. things when yeah, we go back to about beefs, <laughs> whether it's Drake and Meek or Jay and Nas or whoever, is that even let's say it's Jay and, Jay and Nas, yeah. both of them survived that beef. Both yeah. of them get money. Because, right. it's a, because the, at the end of the, the day, man, way, it's music. Because <laughs> and hard work. Outlast bullshit. Like, 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 you look at LL Cool J and Cannabis, no disrespect to oh. Cannabis, but he ain't keep working. No, he they could have both that. got money. You're right. You're right. All they want you know what I'm saying? Music, man. And, 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 music. and look, look at, look at, keep it a buck. Rick Ross and 50 Cent. Oh. Ross kept working. I don't care what the CO shit did to me. Right. Good music out trumps the bullshit but even with every that time. Beef, I don't even think 50 Cent put out a good record. He did. He did. I don't you, even think that's what I'm saying. On a, good on a music yeah. out That's not even a rap beat. That's not even yeah. a Listen, not, nah, but good, nah. good music out trumps everything. 100%. That's all I'm saying. So, Drake put out a hard diss record. Yeah. Meek Mill kept working. And he put out a good album. You know what I'm saying? And, and Wins and Losses Classic was hard. Like, 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 I'm gonna keep it real harder than the, the, the last Drake album. Yeah. Like, like, all yeah. the way above. I'm not saying that because he here. But right. harder than the last Drake album. I told cool. him, like, nigga, back to back was, was the hardest dick, diss record. But that Meek, Meek wins and losses was right. harder than Drake's album. Right. He, it, Drake ain't, wasn't rapping as hard I think that. since that, since the, the since the, um, the Ghost Rider rumors happened right. until this last. Um, diplomatic immunity. Yeah, diplomatic think. immunity was hard. Not gonna play it. Even Vado dropped a hard diplomatic immunity. I think. Mind. I think the the culture of Philly, the same thing that gave me his separation from the crowd and and made him such a, a dope rapper. I think in a certain way it hurt him in that Drake situation because. He was like past that. He was done with that shit, and he had to battle like real dudes. Yeah. Shit was real yeah. in his yeah. battling phase. You got a battle then, of fake ass. Yeah, and then you get you get came in by this situation, and it's like, okay, well, I'm past down. I'm, I'm past my battle phase. I'm not trying to sit down and write a rap about another man. I'm trying you know to write the, hit records. Can I say something? Yeah, but just let me finish. I'm, I'm saying, as a writer, it's like I'm writing hit records, right? Yeah. I don't want to give this my energy. Nah, because that's all. I like. I, I understand that though. That's all I'm saying. Nah, because that. I'm gonna give it to you, like a real street. Q's Philly nigga is these fake niggas is winning, bro. I'm gonna keep it a bug. We ill niggas, and I feel like we battling against the fake shit. Like I don't give a fuck what niggas is talking about. Is why that, would you give energy, ain't a, Because you got to. Yeah, you really this is this is the game because we feel like the illest niggas. So I gotta say something. I feel like the shit he doing is fake. So I gotta say something. I feel where he's coming from. Yeah. It's just in the world of the fake. The real niggas is 5%, 10%. The 85% is is winning. And and that's where the fucked up shit about. That's where, not even to get too deep, the 5% has felt like they was the illest. 
because we know what the fuck going on. Y'all is on bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And 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 Five that's what percenters. Do, like no, the five percenters feel oh, like the Ill, oh, like we oh, like yeah. five percenters oh, feel like yeah, they're the illest. Yeah. But but the rest of the world, y'all on some bullshit because we know the truth. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> but eighty five percent is winning. Ten yeah. percent yeah. is in nah, the middle. Five percent know the we'll realest. Yeah. And 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 that and that's the realest. But it's hard for you to speak on it because yeah. the Apple Music's, the Def Jams that everybody's running. But the street niggas. We really the illish niggas is in the game. And 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 it's hard for you to speak on it. Meek Mill looked like he crazy. But at the end of the deal, no, nigga, I came up on rap. I came up on Run DMC. I came up on Big Daddy Kane. You don't write your shit, you a crab. You right. a sucker nigga. Right. But how can I say that? You know what I'm saying? Because world. niggas love Drake. Right. You know what I'm saying? Niggas love all these illish niggas. Niggas love Puff. Right. Puff is a real hustling, real nigga. But the difference between Puff, he said, I don't care if I write rhymes, I write checks. Drake saying he the illest nigga in the game, he going down as G.O.D. How can you when you don't write your own shit? Meek Mill is going off that. But at the end of the day, the world don't care. That's the difference, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he caught up, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I fucked with him for that. But at the end of the day, you worried about your niggas. You worried about your kids. You worried about your mom. Get your bag. Because these niggas don't care about what's real and what's fake. You got to get your money. You know what I'm saying? And and that's it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just talking this shit. <laughs> that's it. Yo, I'm, I'm on this privilege, bro. <laughs> no, but what's, what's, what's in the darkness always comes to light, bro. Like, everybody, everybody, right. everybody journey turn out. You know, Chop just gave us, like, the six don't minute. <laughs> nah, Chop just gave us, like, the six minute. Six fun. minutes? All right, sure. let's switch it on. Let me speak, Pat. Yeah. Sure. The hottest shit in the blogs right now is Meek getting a new case, a new, might get his charges dismissed. Yeah. How real is that? Like, like since we can hear man, from you. working on it, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's new shit every day, so. Okay. They're working on that, man. You know what I'm saying? They try and get us. I know we got a uh, a court date in April coming up, so we're going to see what happened then. Word. You know what I'm saying? Y'all optimistic, though? Y'all feeling good? For sure. Word. Always optimistic. Word. The judge was on bullshit. Definitely. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Philly not going to get y'all, man. I hope not. Philly not nah, gonna get you. They ain't man. get us. Nah, you Philly not gonna get they ain't, you. Know, I, ain't, I visit there. They exactly. ain't get us. You Word. know what I'm saying? It's all good. I watched the I watched the divide happen over the music. It ain't stop y'all. I'm watching the system try to stop y'all. It ain't gonna stop no, y'all. He gonna, for this, man. Listen, just as a fan from the outside looking in, he gonna come out stronger. You gotta understand gonna be this, right? Yeah. It's only getting magnified because of who That's he what I'm is. Saying. But had he not been who he was, this is what we'd be going through anyway. More regular more shit, you know what I'm saying? saying? So this, we built for this, and so we got some success. We gonna fight for it. Hey, it we, ain't about uh, nothing. With Jay and Beyonce shouting out Free Meek and the top off the Maybach. Yeah, and with man. the Eagles winning the Super Bowl. No, no. Will he be the on the meat? top off the Maybach remix when he touch? That's up to Khaled. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's going to yeah. be on it. Right. Fuck it. I said it first. Yeah. yeah. Going to be on the top off the Maybach. Listen, bro. Right. That would be major. Plug, nah. plug what you got coming up, bro. What you got? I heard the Barcelona closing line. <laughs> Barcelona, I ain't get my t shirt. Yeah, exactly. Cuz don't <laughs> fuck with me. It's nah, all good. Man, we got Barcelona cracking, like I was saying earlier. I see everybody before in Before you cut me yeah, off. Before, yeah, The yeah, first yeah. time earlier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not to cut you off. Yeah, not to you cut you off. We're going to, um, where are we going? Uh, Red Martini. <laughs> Tonight. Nah, I ain't going to fuck with you. Plug the bro. So, Where can they get the joint? This is man. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Log on. And the Instagram. Yeah, my Instagram, official Barcelini. Nah, what's your other Instagram? Nah, I just changed it to official Barcelini. Nah, I talked to one. Yeah, I changed that to official Barcelini. Yeah, Barcelini. Official Barcelini. Yeah, Barcelini. Yeah, Barcelini. Yeah, Barcelini. 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 It's a business now. It okay. is a business. You know what I'm saying? I built the network, you know, from you know, from Dream Chasers. We built that out. You know, I got, you know, some followers, so why not make that my business Word. page? I can have Word. a personal you know what I'm For what? Um, yeah, you damn, know what I'm saying? Damn, I know we ain't got a lot of time left. Uh, I see Moulin Rouge. For sure, Philly. What, 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 how did I see a lot with me? I see a lot with you. What, how did that, how did that happen? She's just a hustler from the city, you know what I'm saying? So she do some work with us. 
You know what I'm saying? She a chaser. And That's she dope. got her own line. That's dope. Milano, D. Rouge, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I see it everywhere. She's cracking. You know, she's just a Milano young hustler. Rouge. She a chaser. I'm well, lit. I don't mean to disrespect Milano, D. Rouge. Man. And um, I see it working nah, all around, right. everywhere. Real right. Real right. Real facts. Awesome. Real right. Like that, I just like to give a shout out to all Philly. Mm. Um, respect all Philly. Got some hustling niggas from ARAB to Meek to motherfucking major figures. Mm. Ab Lava, he don't get a lot of love. Mm. Dutch yeah. and Spade. Um, all, the, all the rappers that influenced nah, us. Real, 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 real. Oh. Super rap. Wow. Um, so you know that's it man this is a drug dealer's dream podcast signing off you got anything to say get it nah man you know free meat free meat that's it you know what i'm saying so much love a drug dealer's dream